Hello, oh. everyone. Welcome to game number 204 on the... This game doesn't count, right? It's leap year day. <laughs> this Every is just an extra. Yeah, so we don't... We didn't do any work today. We can't I count just... this, right? Uh, I think it still counts. Oh. It, it's not an imaginary day? <laughs> it, it, it is a day. It's a real day. <laughs> It's no. got hours and everything. Oh, no, no, you mean it's not the ice of March? <laughs> ice of March. <laughs> oh, Sk that would be an minus one the, of March. <laughs> yeah, that would be an imaginary day. Okay, it, well, uh, Peggy's got frogs behind her, so it's leap year. <laughs> one extra day. Did you guys all have a good day and do something different for your extra day? <laughs> no, I no. got allergy shots. Woohoo! Oh, I'm lucky you. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty cool. I wrote a trivia round. Yeah, you're in your trivia. That's good. Um, I got uh... Paula and I went up to the observatory to check out um, oh. the, the Red Line subway to get um, from the San Fernando Valley into Hollywood. And then the little dash bus that goes straight up to the observatory so nobody has to park. And what'd you think? It was easy and cheap. It was really this is nice. going to be the most awesomest thing. We're going to make this amazing. Adrian's just booked her flight. Jane's booking her flight. I'm driving. Thank you. Yay. Jane's booked her flight. We yeah, booked okay. together. But we're a team. <laughs> so this is going to be cool. Keep in mind, people, we're going to do New Mexico and maybe Raleigh, North Carolina. Look at Romero. How yeah. big is your house, Romero? <laughs> He's got a big enough house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, yeah. We just have to rope more people into uh, doing some of the work. <laughs> no, no, it's not that hard. No work. Right, no Wendy? Work. How many people? Three people <laughs> can just make the decision and it's done, right? It's it's oh. actually not that complicated. Yeah, okay. it, yeah it makes, it's, Somebody should write down the directions or the process. Karen wants me to do that. <laughs> it's not that it, you I'll, just we'll need a core together. group of a few people to make the first decisions, and then everybody else you say, "Hey, okay, I need somebody to bring coffee. Okay, I need somebody to do this. I need somebody to do that." And somebody goes, "Okay, I'll do it." I need it's all up. based okay. on the first decision. Get Susan involved. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to have it? You know, what is the venue and when? And that's all you got to decide. Get Susan involved is, is absolutely right because Jane approached me, but I know Jane now who approached you. I actually accused Susan. I said, Susan, this is you who approached Jane, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's I a great I didn't expression. Want, I didn't Susan. want your husband mad at me. <laughs> I mean, you're coming from Canada. Yeah, and coming from Canada, and I, you know, just the the idea. I was actually already thinking about it, but when Jay reached out, it did make a big difference. But still, uh, it was sneaky. <laughs> Everything I said was entirely sincere. I know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just you said know, you Jane always said, should I ask? Has her I said, yeah, you the... should ask Jane, not me. <laughs> Susan's always got to have those fingers in the pie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm behind it. I'm behind it. Yeah. Corey, when are you coming out here? We're still waiting on orders, but hopefully sometime in the summer. Yeah, summer. Because we're now windy. Talk about being somebody being pushy. Oh, here comes Karen. <laughs> windy. Go Wendy. Go Wendy. You know what Wendy's done? <laughs> she's 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 talking me into doing a second Monterey County Skeptics. Really? We're talking about it because she was saying, oh, we're doing another one in, in July. And I'm going, nobody wants to be in the San Fernando Valley in July if they can help it. And, um, but I was said Salinas is beautiful in July. Yeah, <laughs> I drive up. It's, it's, it's pretty up there and it's, it'll be much cooler than down here in Los Angeles. And close to the ocean, we can have a house and have some fun and well, well, think about coming up to Eugene. What? Think about She's coming up to Eugene. Yeah, to Eugene. 
Oh yeah, I don't know. You know, I've never gone to the skeptics toolbox. That's I that is missing in my life. Is that still happening? Nope. Only only whenever then. we all get together and pretend. <laughs> <laughs> only well, wistfully it, in our eyes. It kind of is. I'm sorry I missed it. But I, but, I mean, Wendy, in a few years, maybe 10 years from now, people are going to say, I wish I had gone to the LA Skeptic Camp when they had it in 2024. I'm sorry I missed it. See? That's how, just reframe it. When people say, I wish I had gone to Blink or I wish I had met so-and-so. It's like, right. I wish I had to. It's gone. I never met Carl Sagan or Isaac Asimov, which I would have loved to, but I can't. But I am meeting people now who may someday, I will say, damn, I'm, I'm so, I can't believe I got to meet them. So think, I, of, a, think of a positive. I've been involved in some historic things. I can't. You know, fun, historic, interesting experiences. Yeah, think about how much you get to hang out. It's still happening. So we're about to be, we're going to get another continent on, not a continent, another another country here very soon. I have a surprise for you. We'll be here. (laughs) Oh, that sounds mysterious. Hi, Gail. You're muted, Gail. You're muted. So when people talk and they're muted, I think we should just insert words into whatever they said. <laughs> Using pig Latin or something. I don't know. I guess. As, you, as you're making teams, I don't think I'm going to make it for the whole time tonight. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, yeah, I might. I might bail early too. I'm. <laughs> it's been. A I day. will try to make it for the whole night. Okay, but we're also, it, the nice thing is, is we're joined by people late too, so that kind of yeah. helps. Uh, hey, Su- Susan, what is? I'm just looking here on I've on been, my here. What is uh, uh, AI Companion? Oh, I think what it does is it makes a transcript of everything that's said, and then after you hang up, you get a you get a email or something that has all the transcript. It takes a while, and it's a synop and a synopsis. Yeah, of what we're saying right now, it'll say. You know, Susan just said, "What is what it'll it'll it will condense the discussion and, and give the important points to the extent that any of that." Crap so in in works. other words, it'll be it'll be blank. <laughs> look at look at who's inv- who's here. Can you guys see? It's dark. There's lizards. Oh, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hello, Hello from. Hello from eleven degrees north of the equator. <laughs> so tropical we're, rob and we're missing jamie tonight jamie told me to tell everybody he misses you all he got a puppy and they <gasps> it's a beautiful puppy and i will show you oh. his picture and they oh, got just exhausted oh. from from driving or whatever it is they do over there in thailand nice well, everybody should have a puppy we yeah I mean, what, what's, he, what, what's he have what's he resting from it's like he's going to work tomorrow we want to see the puppy. I'm I'm grabbing a picture. I'm grabbing the picture. Uh, we need to find out where they went to to get the puppy so we can find out what disaster befalls uh, it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jamie can't be here, but his puppy can be. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. What a pretty dog. Isn't that a beautiful dog? Now, I'm not yeah. sure that's the dog. It might just be a picture <laughs> of a dog that it's going to look like. <laughs> Let me reread the She just went out and found a puppy picture. He might have been, we picked, oh, he says, we just returned home a day ago after a seven hour drive and ferry to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> B H U K E T. A seaside city okay. on the west coast of the country yeah. where we picked up our new British field golden retriever puppy. <laughs> Good choice. Retriever. I think they should just get a dog hair forever. I think they should just get a <laughs> mutt from somewhere. That's what I think. But that's my favorite. I don't get a vote. Rob, how you doing over there? You missed us that bad? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit warm, uh, warmer than where Adrian is for sure, but I'm enjoying it. Still waiting for Beetlejuice to uh, go supernova. Not happening. 
every every day going to the beach where you can clearly see it. Uh, no, no, still good, still there. Are so you uh, are you outside right now or inside? It's hard to tell. I'm on I'm on the patio of the of the place with the with the pool deck behind have... me. I, I don't know if you can see anything. Yeah. Can you see the top we, of we your head. Stuff. We can see yeah. a parking lot. So you're not going to shed any I light on the no, it's not a parking lot. Oh, okay. That's towards the pool and the beach. Ah, oh, gotcha. I just saw light. Oh, is that blue the beach back back there? It's oh, that's like blue the pool. Lagoon. That's cool. the pool. It's got light. Nice. So why do you have a pool if you have a beach? Because some people don't like salt water. Well, why would some they people go there? don't like people? people. <laughs> because some because some people do like beaches and so did you go there specifically each other. to see the supernova? Well, it's it's interesting. Where I mean, even though I am in a fairly rural part of New Jersey, there's so much freaking light. You know, I, you know, I, I can't see the sky anywhere unless I drive to a deserted park. You somewhere. can you can see Beetlejuice. Yeah, but but Beetlejuice. here it's just like not in you know, Oregon. The beach, yeah, on, and on then, DVD well, or Blu-ray. Well, stars right. out. It's a, it's kind of cool. You know, there's nothing in the way. You're looking over the ocean, and uh, the night sky is a gorgeous thing. It, it's impressive. Yeah, so we saw the brightest star. We thought it was the brightest star, and I go, I wonder if that's a star. And then I pulled up my app. And, oh, that's Jupiter. Cool. Adrian, what's an extreme skeptic? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> he's not on Facebook. so he's I don't ever remember you being extreme, but okay. Can you explain that, Adrian, really quick? I'm not sure, uh, Adrian. That doesn't sound right. Uh, well, what happened is, for those of you who uh, didn't see the post that Susan did, was on my uh, Winchester Mystery House, I call it mine, it's been changed a lot since I did it, but the one that I rehashed, in the talk pages, somebody came on and said, please be careful when you read this article or this page, because it was made by extreme skeptics and extreme atheists and named uh, Brian Dunning and uh, Joe Nickel and all kinds of people. Yeah, Joe does a lot of stuff on Wikipedia. <laughs> no, well, he's talking about the article. <laughs> the article. Dunning. Like, I mean, it's, yeah, the, basically it was using their art, their work, right, on the article. Yeah, so, yeah but uh, so that's why I'm, I am now, I, I didn't know this, but apparently I am an extreme skeptic. And that I don't listen to anything on the other side. So there you go. That's You're what just I, so I metal, Adrian. I just, know. Ah! <laughs> it's kind of funny. Because it's a UFO thing all over again. But now it's on the on Winchester Mystery. Yeah, on the ghost gosh, page. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, they, so they're all starting to. I mean, next thing it'll be that it attacks me as a hollow earth. I mean, it's like <laughs> there's all these. Because they've already got those other guys who are like into psy you know, remote viewing and all that other stuff. They've joined forces with the UFO people now. So now oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I listened to that to that UFO podcast by the Rob guy. And, you know, there was a part in there where they were all go, oh, yeah, these skeptics, they don't believe in afterlife. They don't believe in astral projection. They don't believe in homeopathy. What's wrong with them? It was like <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle. You know, it was a UFO podcast and they were going every crackpot thing there is they were mentioning. <laughs> So Adrian, you could say that you um, don't have a ghost of a chance. That's oh. right. Yes. I just just came up with that one. That's a good That's one. very funny. Yeah. Mm. So, so Susan, I'm I'm on my phone because I don't have a laptop, and at home I use a desktop computer. So I don't know how this is going to go. I've never tried to do Zoom on a phone before at all, and I don't know how if I can see chat or what's going to go on. But anyway, I'm I'm expecting. Just put me on a team as a little extra help for the first round. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you guys see the chat from uh, Carl? <laughs> I loved yeah. it. No, we we <laughs> saw it before. Uh, Nobody say it out loud for those people who can't, who are getting it, watching our fans. <laughs> for the sake of the recording. That was good. I was going to tell a joke. I was going to tell a joke about time travel, but you guys didn't like it. <laughs> That was good. Uh oh, is that a paradox you just created? I don't know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I, I think uh, I think you have to no, tell it. It now. wasn't. It wasn't. Nope. There weren't. There weren't two doctors. <laughs> or two hearts. Okay, oh. here we go. Okay, so I have a breakout room notice. Well, this faith. Hi, faith. Works. Hi, Brandy. Oh. 
Okay, hold on a second, Brandy. So I'm having trouble unmuting because my little box keeps jumping around. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. Your box keeps jumping around. Or an ecumenical matter. Nobody ever gets the ecumenical matter jokes. Right, buddy. Hi. My psychic abilities are telling me that uh, recording is in progress. Just to mm -hmm. let people know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're we're tied. For, we're tied for first. Yeah, so, two two Steiners on the team, and we're tied for first. Oh, okay. You think so? Do you? Already, are you guys using time travel again to know who's in first? Well, who do you think's ahead of us? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really curious about what game, what people you got. Okay, so here is it all. Okay, here we are. We are in game 204, and I'm very curious about what names you guys have come up with. We do have a few people who are going to be leaving early, so that's going to make some interesting rooms if we don't get enough people who will fill those spots right away. But it's hard to say. So leading off, we have Ben, Carolyn, Carl, and Rob. Okay, we are, the SCOTUS can take a flying leap day. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Good. You know what I have? I have been so busy with all sorts of other stuff that's happening that I, for the last like five hours, have not looked at the news. So if anything's going on, I don't know because I've just like been so busy with other stuff. Jane from Oregon, Jim, Faith, and Romero, and Wendy. Observe this in honor of my visit to the observatory. Oh, that's, yeah. cute. that's yeah. cute. waiting for it to get into the chat so I can move on. All right, Gail, Janine, Kat, and Peggy. Um, We've waited a long time, Mitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, geez. No, I don't, I don't get that one. I haven't been following the news very much. Oh, Mitch What's McConnell that was retiring in December as being the Senate um, GOP leader. Oh, okay. But he is, um, he's staying in to serve his term <laughs> until 2027. And all the people that they think would, that might replace Mitch McConnell are named John. Yeah. There's three of them. They're all like, John, John, John. They can get, the, they can get started on whatever typeface they got to do now. It starts the John Bart. Adrian, Brandy, Corey, Kyle, and Vincent. We are... Stream jokers. <laughs> oh, extreme jokers. Oh, okay. I stream. Said, I thought he said stream jokers, and I'm like stream. No, jokers. well, I can scream, but then no, 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 stream. I can stream at three a.m. Like it's in a bubbling brook somewhere. <laughs> ah, stream, stream jokers, or, or it's okay. or it's live on social media. And it's Corey stream. has got. Why so serious? Yes, oh, she's gonna me. Me. good for you. <laughs> oh, she's gonna fit right in. Okay, Karen, <laughs> Lee, Leonard, Alan, and Ron. We are Mitch. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Karen will oh, take yeah. care of it. Karen will take care of it. Karen will take care of it. Hitting him on the way hitting out. The, hitting oh, the door, oh, okay. The door. Old figure. Okay, good. So what we have tonight, this is February 29th, 2024. It'll be four years before we could even fathom another leap year uh, day, mm -hmm. leap day. It'll be a, it'll be a long time because it won't fall on a Thursday anyway. Yeah, when will the next leap Thursday be? It'll be like 2030 something probably till the next time we get to do something like this. So that's always fun. It's always cool to have something kind of neat happening that isn't uh uh <laughs> politics <laughs> so we have five teams five teams i'm told there are five teams out there that are vying for the competition for the leap year no leap day year <laughs> challenge um game number 204 here comes kevin good because he's going to be one of the people on one of the teams he's he's got questions tonight so we do have 
five different people. We have the team, Carl's team, the SCOTUS can take a flying leap day. And we have Bill who isn't here yet. Here comes Robin. And Bill, who isn't here yet, who's um, on Observe This. And then we have uh, Kevin, who's joining us right now with, we've waited a long time, Mitch. And then we have Adrian running the category Extreme Jokers. And then following that, we have Ron, who I did put your brother on your team with you. I thought that was kind of fun. Mitch, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Karen will take care of it. So, <laughs> Who, 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 who is going to lead tonight? If only we had a psychic in this room. If only we knew something about time travel, we will finally solve the mystery of whose birthday is it at Kyle's place. <laughs> and, well, we have time. It will be somebody's birthday. Someday. Will we have will we have time to hear a little bit of about Robin's uh, adventures tonight? No. Well, here's I have an idea. I have an idea about that. Okay. I have a thumb drive with a very fabulous slideshow, which was actually prepared by the people who ran the ship, and it's got a, some gorgeous photographs in it. I propose that anybody who wants to see that slideshow will do it at the end. And if you want to okay. see it, you can stay on. Okay. That sound good? Sounds good. I've been following all your pictures on. And if you and don't want to see it, you can go to bed. <laughs> are you doing also, a category in penguins? penguins? We got a ton of penguin pictures. Are you doing a category in penguins? No, she's oh, not I'm not doing a category. Sure. Oh, okay. I, have I got one tonight? We've been studying up in anticipation. <laughs> yes, you are, Kevin. Okay, I got it ready. Yeah, he's got his. Okay, so great. So the only thing I was thinking also, and that I, I'm happy with looking at uh, talking about Robin's pictures. That'll be, I mean, Robin's trip, because I loved watching Robin's trip to the Antarctic in the Argentine. That was great. Fun, fun, fun <laughs> stuff. Um, the only thing I was wanted to talk about was what I talked about before the cameras went on, uh, the recording went on. And so only a few people got to hear it, but it's something completely different. So I'll, I'll, and now for something completely. Maybe different. I'll mention that in a little bit, but we'll see. They just don't want to do it on camera. All right, so are we ready to play? We've got, uh, we're leading off with Carl. He's he's already turned his face towards the camera, so we know it must be Carl's turn. The next February 29th on a Thursday will be in 2052. Ooh. Damn. We got, will we still be playing trivia on Thursdays? Well, somebody should ask. Uh, <laughs> Probably. 2052. I'll be 98. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> we can do it. 90, I'll be 90. Well, we'll be under not that day. Think yeah, about I'll be <laughs> no, not I that day. <laughs> well, that means I'll be probably, what, I'm, you're two years older than I am, I think? Something like that. So uh, I'll maybe be a little more than too. that. There you go. No I problem. it's possible I'll be alive. <laughs> hey, modern science. All right, then. so Carl, do you have a category for us tonight? Yes, I do. Susan will be telling us it's game 1600. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Disturbia. Films with a dystopian setting and inspired partially by Rob's 1984 round. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> I will give a, a year of the film and a description of the film and you name the film from the description. Okay, I'm I'm game. Here we go. All right, number one. Nineteen seventy five film in a corporate controlled future where all books have been digitized and edited to suit the corporations. An ultra violent sport represents the world, and one of its most popular athletes is out to defy the system that wants him out of the game. Number two, 1985 film, a bureaucrat in a dystopian society in which there is an over-reliance on poorly maintained machines becomes an enemy of the state as he pursues the woman of his dreams. The computers in this future probably run the Python programming language. 
Number three. 1979 film, a near future dystopian land of the long weekend is facing a breakdown of civil order primarily due to widespread oil shortages and ecocide. A member of the main force patrol in a 1973 Ford Falcon XB GT battles a roving biker gang. Number four, 1988 film, The Dystopia is Now. Our decisions are influenced without us knowing it. Our senses are numbed without us feeling it. Our lives are controlled without us realizing it. One man has come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and he's all out of bubblegum. Number five, 1987 film. As if a city like Detroit could ever actually go bankrupt. Number six. In the future, all restaurants are Taco Bell. <laughs> dystopian. That's a horrible dystopia, I tell you. <laughs> Number seven. 2006 film. When the lead character in this film went into hibernation in 2006 and was revived 500 years later, the average IQ in both time periods went up. Number eight, 2013 film. In a future where a failed climate change experiment has killed all life except for the survivors who boarded a train that travels across the globe, a new class system emerges. Much like the current conservative agenda, this system manages to convince the middle class that their biggest enemy is the lower class. Mm, well said. Number nine, 1976 film. Themes that can be inferred from this dystopian future are the adoration of youth and the promise of an afterlife to ensure compliance. But there is no sanctuary. All frozen. And finally, number 10, 1999 film. Perhaps predicting the 20, Trump 2025 plan for the American federal judiciary. In the future, a core of judges is established whose role combines that of police, judge, jury, and executioner. Mm, that is very dystopian. You Carl, know what? you said 1995, 1999, but the hint says 1995. I meant 1995. Thank you for catching that. And you know what? I just realized that I had a dream about bubblegum last night. And I didn't notice it until we said bubblegum. And then it was like, oh, we were, I made bubblegum and I was handing it out to people. Life is weird. All right. Okay. So, so that... So that one that one character uh, 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 doesn't need to be out of bu bubblegum, so he doesn't need to kick ass. <laughs> no, that must have been it. I knew I was going to have a question about bubblegum. Okay, let me put the two people who are not in rooms in rooms. Okay, there we are. So, Kevin, you have to be. In room three. And Robin, welcome back. Are you coming out with us tomorrow night? You're on mute. I can't hear you. To, to Paper Wing Theater? Yeah. Yes, I am. That'll be great. I don't see how do I go to a breakout room here. Mm. Um, You should have a... It, you've been given a room one. Yeah, um, but I'm on my phone and it's not... Didn't pop up like it does on the computer. Um, and I'm going to room one also. Yeah. Oh, good. Me and Rob. You'll lose I'm Rob. Gonna... Um, we'll lose you know, we'll lose Rob, and we will lose Carolyn. So, Rob, how do I send you there? Oh, okay. If I hit the screen, it pops up during breakout room. Okay. Okay. There I'm we go. There too. Oh. I'm going there right now. Hello, team. Hello. Hello there. Yes, that is correct. So what did you okay. guys think so far? And I think number three is, um, what's, yeah. yeah uh, is it Road Warrior? 
That's what Did I it? put. Two was nineteen eighty four. I wanted to make sure that that's what the car was, though. But oh, uh, three! I thought it was Mad was... Max. I thought it was Mad Max too. That's what I was going. Well, uh, is the first movie called Mad Max? Or is the first so, movie called Road so, Warrior? Uh, Mad Max. So guys, Warrior. Yeah. Guys, I don't Hello? remember. Any, I don't remember anything about poorly maintained machines in nineteen eighty four, and I just read the book. So um, I put Mad Max, but I think Road Warrior was like the name, wasn't it? Because Mad Max, like Thunderdome, was. Yeah, the first movie was called Road Warrior, right. and then the sequels were Mad Max and like Beyond Thunderdome or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, so you I, know, I, 1984. You're right. Were there? Well, well and that... here's a clue too: Python programming language. What about what is it about that? Okay, well, I take it why back. Is that a why is that a clue? Because that's Carl was, tends to put clues in, and that's, that's the last sentence of the question. No, no, no. But Are why, you seeing the screen? It, or Why is that? No, actually, I can't on my phone. But why Why would that be a clue that me, means it's 1984? No, I'm just saying that's the clue, clue that will help question. us decide what the... I'm not relating it to 1984. Okay. I'm just saying that's a clue that we should think about to help us answer the question. Python programming language? Yeah, I, I don't yeah. I don't think it's 1984. He's not a bureaucrat and there's no heavy reliance on poorly maintained machines, so I don't get that connection at all. Okay, so never mind. Python programming language. Um Woman of his dreams. Yeah, we can come back to that one. Anyone know number 1, 1975? Corporate uh, controlled I get, I, future. I think this is a Schwarzenegger film. Something with a ball in the name. Um, Rollerball. Was that the name of it? Well, he was in a movie called Running Man. Was he in Rollerball? Running Man. That might be. It, he was in man. Running Man, but that wasn't seventy five. No, yeah, that was later. That was later. That was like eighties, uh... I think. Or maybe it was a, well, uh, something with the, like, she supposed ball in the name came to mind. So I mean, it could, not, that could be the movie that just may not, I don't know. Oh, I just got nine. Tied to that one. Do you guys know nine? Just Which is nine? It. I just read it. I won't say until you guys say it. Seems oh, like I the... know what it is. I just couldn't remember the dang movie title. It's, um. It's got Michael York in it. Oh, it's, um. Oh. Oh, a sanctuary where they have um, it's called it's a dystopian where people live till thirty and that's it. It's yeah, right. They're... Run um, something. Run Logan's Run. Logan's, Logan's run. run. Thank yes. you. My run. brain was was yes. failing me. And you know what? I'm surprised she doesn't have his Fahrenheit four five one in here. Okay, uh, we is... need. Yeah. I have enough. I have enough for several more rounds. <laughs> I'll, yes. just say, I'll keep waiting for that one then. Is number five, is that uh, Robocop? That's what I was thinking. Was Robocop 87? Yeah. I don't know. I never saw it. That was the year that, that I was in high school. So I'm pretty sure that's the same one. Hey, and hey, the bubblegum is, no is called They Live? I've never heard of that. Yeah. It yep. was that, that wrestler who started. Yeah, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Yeah. Great movie. Um, eight eight is Snowpiercer. Thank you. I'm like I know that movie because I oh, saw it. And I just couldn't remember the title. It's also a TV show now. What is it? Yes, yeah, so I've seen the series on the movie. Snowpiercer. Oh, never heard of it. It was a tough movie to watch. I don't know if I'll watch it again. I didn't watch it. So Judge Dredd. Think... What is that? Judge Dredd. Yeah, had, there's a bunch uh, I've never heard of before. It had Sandra Bullock, right? And Sylvester no, Stallone. No, that was Demolition Man, which is the other Sylvester Stallone. That's the answer to number six. All all restaurants are talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. Judge that, Dredd. That's the one I with Sandra Bullock. Yeah, okay. I can't read yes. the dystopian but, part, right? Uh, Sylvester Stallone also played in Judge Dredd, but then they made a far superior movie just called Dredd that had Carl Urban in it. Okay, so we it was don't much have closer to, to the. One? We need uh, one. a few of them. One and two. Yeah. Two is oh yeah we don't it's not gonna be nineteen eighty four we don't yeah we don't think that 1984 fits so 
Computers, 1985 film. Enemy Let's of the see, State. a bureaucrat. I mean, it's not, speaking of Schwarzenegger, it's not Terminator, is it? Well, I was thinking that, but I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how that fits exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't get also bureaucrat from anybody. Yeah, bure bureaucrat. I didn't see in a dystopian society. Coming. And the poorly maintained machines becomes yeah. an enemy of the state. Yeah, I don't. As... I mean, that's the only thing I could. I don't know. That's. Uh... Crap. So, do we think seventy five could that be Rollerball? Because is Rollerball like a yeah, it's but it's an ultra violent come sport. Up with anything is... else? Put that down. I've never heard of that one, so I think Good I've name. heard of it. Or was there was Running Man? Was Running Man uh like a re? You know, did they have an earlier Running Man movie and then they remade it with Schwarzenegger later? Was there a previous Running Man movie? Wasn't it Running Man? No, I could be wrong. I was gonna say, wasn't Running Man a Stephen King story? But I could be wrong. Uh, maybe, not positive, but it very well could be. I don't, I don't know. One and two, I don't. Crap. Know. Yeah, Rollerball is a good guess for for because Running Man, I don't think was that was that. That's too early for Running Man. Running Man was in the eighties, mid to late eighties, I think, maybe. So what the heck is two? Because we got an answer for everything else. Well, I mean, if you don't get anything else but 1984, but I can't see how that would fit. We're not but... seeing the connection there. Yeah, with the uh, with the poorly maintained machines and at all, no. And the Python pro. What no, was no, Tron? Nothing to do with snakes. What was, was Tron? A dystopian movie. Yeah. I don't remember. Well, it was. I don't like think a, I saw it. The, the, the computers controlled. The, the, they controlled people with a computer. Uh, uh, so, any movies with a snake or serpent or something like that in the name? Yeah, that's I don't what I was thinking why. of. Uh, and Tron may have been earlier. Oh, right? is that the clue? Python. Um, yeah. Yeah. Snakes on the plane. No, it wasn't eighty-five. Uh, yeah, that was so that was late. Yeah. Uh, in this future, run the Python. Oh, I'm, but it's probably gonna bug the crap out of me once we once we hear it. It'll be like, oh yeah, that movie. Would it be British, like? Oh, like it a, could be a play on Monty Python, like Ooh, British. Thing? Ooh. Oh, good call. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Enemy of the state as he pursues the woman of his dreams. Ooh, the woman uh, of his dreams. So is it something like an altered reality, like he's chasing her in cyberspace, kind of? Total recall. I didn't see that. Yeah, but he's not really pursuing the woman of his dreams in there. I don't yeah, know. yeah, maybe he was dreaming, well, he he was dreaming about her. It right, was. he was he dreaming about her because that was the the memories that were erased or whatever when he was like exactly. That would be in the dreams. same year, wouldn't it? It would be the same time. It would damn, be the damn close. I don't, I don't get the Python thing though. Well, maybe just because of the the machine, the computer um, reference. I don't. So know. it might not have had to do with snakes, but it might have to do with the actual language and the timing. And, and I also, I also, also still don't get over reliance on poorly maintained machines connecting to that. By the way, um, I, I don't either. I don't know. We're all sitting here going. Ah, oh, you know, I no, no. I could, all right, wait a minute. I could say on Mar on Mars, it was a problem because yes. The uh, let's see, the, the, the mutants, uh, like the air conditioning wasn't working, mm -hmm. the fan system wasn't yeah. working. So, okay, yeah, I'm thinking this is total recall. Okay, I didn't oh, see okay. that either. God, I see nothing. I don't get the snake. Come on, Susan. But I can tell you all about a watchtower in Colorado that has <laughs> okay, has a platform for watching aliens. I can okay. tell you all about that. <laughs> I got that stuff down, but no, it's movie stuff. 
And we got to hear the gossip I, about the German skeptics. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't I understand that. I've been reading it, trying to understand yeah. it. I'm one of their fellows. Hey, mm -hmm. Jeez. Somebody's got to hey, explain it to me. Can, can you scroll? Can you scroll to nine and ten? Just so I get it. Sure can. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. I took screenshots on my phone so I could go oh, follow okay. and see. Just, just uh, let you know, Ben, on number nine, I will not penalize for bad punctuation or lack thereof. <laughs> yeah, there's there's not more than one Logan. There could be. There could be multiple Logans. Yeah. yeah. It's all all of them all are running. running. It's all a run Logans where everyone named Logan is running. Fine. Are you happy now? <laughs> That's yeah, just because I was typing, I was typing stuff. And he's not supposed to be looking at the screen. He's supposed to be off in his own room somewhere else. Yeah. He knows we could he can watch us later. Good job, team. I would have done nothing. Yeah. I don't think uh total recall isn't right for two, I don't think. I think that was later. Oh really? I think eighty five is too early for total recall. Well then you got hundred. I just don't know what it is. I can't. Yeah. Okay. What the snakes thing bothers me. I don't get the snakes thing. Uh, hmm. Poorly maintained machines. Was I'm sure it all makes from, sense. Was anybody from Monty Python in a movie? How about the one? Probably thing? the well, it's not the sci-fi movie. That. I should say, like it uh, doesn't have anything to do with it. But that's Python-ish. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm just reaching for straws here because I don't watch I that's good. dystopian. I don't know. Dystopian. Well, you know a lot more than I did. You said you don't watch this stuff? Well, I knew a few, but I'm not. That's my problem. I'm not a big sci-fi fan. I like sci-fi, but not this sci-fi. <laughs> sure, I'm going to. Dystopian, it's myself. like I'm, it's just too close to reality. How about Eraserhead? <laughs> Eraserhead. That's dystopian. I haven't seen that. I don't I know about that one. I only got a few minutes into it and said, oh my God, what the hell is this? I'm out of here. 35 seconds. He went, he's trying to tell you something. We're wrong on he's something. Probably wants he to put, trying to tell yeah, us. Something's <laughs> wrong, or he wants me to put a racer head somewhere. <laughs> he's saying, saying, that's a good one. Oh, I'm echoing. How come I'm echoing? We lost Rob. So there'll yeah. probably be there'll probably be a couple you kick yourself over. Probably. Not me. <laughs> I didn't help at all. We usually do. So my mom is not going with me. She is um I am going by myself. So it's going to be a true oh, vacation. Okay. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> You've been looking after her for a lot, lot. and Every you said she should take care of their mother and take them on yeah. all vacation. I told my kids they're to buy me a vacation home each. Well, <laughs> I wish I wish I had the money to do that, but they don't have to go with me. But I just need to buy my own home first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you gotta keep buying. All but right. I'm, I'm... So Carl <laughs> says he's got more than one of these categories ready to go for future events. I, I have so so many possibilities that I had to break up the dystopian from the post-apocalyptic lists. <laughs> ah. All right. Good Lord. So here we will start with the answers. And number one. Serbia. Rollerball. Oh. Yay. Yes. Yay. Damn it. Well done. Pretty, pretty I've never film, heard of it. <laughs> that looks very oh, scary. Pretty good film, James Kahn. Yeah. John Hausman. It looks violent. It Number is. two. Brazil. And for those oh, of you who that's that's right. Python reference, Terry Gilliam, the American Pythoneer from Money Python, directed it. Oh, oh Carolyn, you yeah, I did try. I was on the right track, but I yeah. I mean you know what a racer head is I I almost said, you know, I heard a racer head in Brazil are kind of the same kind of culty thing. I, my, was team, amazing. I, my team, I switched it out last minute, like we talked about. <laughs> another another excellent, excellent film. Leonard, did you say Brazil's excellent? 
fantastic film. Oh, yes, yes. It. It's a great film. Number three, Mad Max. And I know anyone who put the Road Warrior is going to kick themselves in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. Second yeah. Movie. Sure. Yeah. Road Warrior was a second. Oh, I had him backwards. I'm so Mad sorry, Max team. Down. That's so, okay. The, 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 the way to remember sorry. that is they started out with Mad Max. They went with a different title for the second one. And then for Mad Max Beyond Max Thunderdome, Beyond they brought Thunderdome, back the original back. title. I'll have to remember that for next time. My apologies. Uh, there is the look, Ford Falcon XB GT, the legendary car. And look at the actor before we knew that he smoked and was an anti Semite. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? An ass. And what, one of my favorite Mel pieces Gibson. of trivia about oh, this Mel movie Gibson? is... And yeah. a religious zealot, a fundamentalist yeah. religious I thought it was zealot. Emily West of it. So yes. when, when they released this movie in the United States, Mel Gibson's accent was so horribly Australian that they dubbed it with, by a different actor so Americans could understand <laughs> it. And then later when they released it on DVD, modern Mel Gibson dubbed himself. Oh, wow. DVD edition. wow. They wow. honored him once. They honored him once somewhere. I think it like the hasty pudding thing in, in in Harvard, and everybody was eating dog food out of a can. Oh, they had oh. him. They had him eat dog food out of a can. Mm. All right, number four. Should put it on a plate like a good civilian. Great John movie. Carpenter's they live, starring Roddy Roddy Piper. Oh. Go, Kevin. Remember the name. Oh. I, 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 I saw that movie. Just, a clip of, of him just walking because into of the Roddy bank. Piper. Of him walking into the bank with a shotgun saying, I've come here to chew the bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. That's a great line. Somebody you need that you needed the video, Carl. Where's the video? I know. I didn't think of that till like yeah. trivia just started tonight. Oh shit, I put it together a clip. Number five, Robocop. Oh, where yeah. the police get taken over by a private corporation when the city of Detroit declares bankruptcy. <laughs> which would never happen. I in declare real life. bankruptcy. Yes. Number I, six, I declared demolition it. man oh damn it we switched oh, it at the last he had minute it, and then we switched dumb us. what'd you switch it to running, running man. man oh yeah yeah we got man in the title <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Seven, Sandra Bullock. idiocracy oh finally <laughs> oh, great movie that. that is unfortunately becoming very much true yeah yeah wonder wonderful movie yeah. As, as shown by the little uh, figure, the only uh, movie that turned out of comedy of... and it's turning into a documentary. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. We're still here. No piercer. All right. Hey, go on. <laughs> Number nine. Logan's Run. That was amazing. Hey, ah, was amazing. Finally figured it out. A bit dated, it. but uh, amazing. Just... One of my favorite lines about Logan Run, <laughs> Logan's Run, comes from the TV show News Radio, where Phil Hartman's character is trying to uh, convince someone to have a baby with him because he's getting older. And he says, I'm not getting exactly getting any younger. If this was Logan's Run, I'd be Soylent Green by now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. And 10, Judge Dredd. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the bad one. <laughs> uh... Dread is far superior. Well done. You just don't like boom, boom, Sly. Boom. All right, so let's get our scores. Well, that one was almost a comedy. <clears throat> Mitch, yeah. don't let the door hit you on the way out. Karen will take care of it. Seven. Extreme Jokers. Five. Five. <laughs> Somebody needs to go back and watch their dystopian stuff. And I'm saying that because I didn't help. So I, <laughs> I would have to be one of those people too. I got Logan's Run, sort of. Yeah, I think I got Logan's yes. Run. We've waited a long time. But other people would have gotten Logan's. Eight. Eight. Ooh. We almost had nine. I talked them out of that one. Oh, yeah. observe this. Observe this. We got nine. Wow. Nine. Darn. We made the last minute decision to put make Brazil too. Thanks nice. to Jim. Adrian, do okay. I have whiskers like a cat on that picture behind you? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Now that you've moved, it's gone away, but <laughs> where you are, it looks like I can, whiskers. I can always add whiskers if you want. <laughs> yeah. There is a drop there yeah. on my shirt. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The party the, the the Python reference was what made me think Brazil for two. Very good. <laughs> the SCOTUS can take a flying leap day. Eight. Wow. Could have had 
Should have had a ten, but that's okay. I had Mad Max so we didn't down know. on my. Yeah, my, I, I I feel terrible that I mixed so. those up. My bad. I'm so I sorry, you. team. I thought that I had those right. I didn't. That's, that's all good. <laughs> You're fired. We yeah, we wouldn't have oh, well. gotten. Hey, Bill was supposed yeah, to be here for the that. second round. Is Bill here? Still got time. Uh, is he running the <laughs> no. second round? You were supposed to be running the second round. Well, let me run the third oh. round second. Yeah, we'll go to Kevin and then yeah, we'll... we could just switch. Yeah, yeah that's good, a little good. good idea. Oh, okay, Kevin, where are you? There you are. No, I'm here somewhere. Kevin. Okay, let me find my wherever you one. go. There you are. <laughs> yep, that's a movie from uh, Mad Max. Matter where you are. There hey, you are. just just FYI, in case Bill doesn't show up, then Jane from Oregon, Jill, I mean Jim. Faith, Romero, Wendy, you better start working on the category. <laughs> so, Carl, you, you got part two of Dystopian ready yet? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, well, I, got right. I got a bunch of bonuses. It's right got to be one of the people in that room. So, uh, yeah, that's true. Get on it now. Either that or we just Faith have Romero, three Wendy, rounds and a bonus team. today. And, and we could course, do that always, too. If anyone's interested, the, the rounds and in, in the answers are in the chat. Okay. What do you got? Cartoon foods and other stuff. Yep, that's uh, what the category is called. Cartoon foods and other stuff. I like it. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to try and put three of them in at once and see how I do. All right, I'm going to say goodnight, folks. Enjoy the rest of the game. Bye. Have a good day, Rob. Bye, Rob. Happy vacation. Happy vacation. Outside of your bye -bye. vacation. That's what right. vacations are for, to not pay attention to other stuff. <laughs> He's like messaging. Wear a size what medium to this? T -shirt. To that? <laughs> okay, can someone mute? No. Only because I don't want somebody Everybody giving away the answer. Everybody will be on their best behavior, won't they all? <laughs> somebody muted me. <laughs> okay, that's good. Kevin, you're muted. Now Kevin's muted. Okay. What does Fred Flintstone eat? There's more than one answer, so I just get any one answer to score a point. Number two, what does SpongeBob cook? And this one's spelling counts. Okay. Number three, what does Norville Rogers eat? And don't give any hints if you know who that is. Yes, sir. Number four, what did Elsie Seeger's famous comic strip character eat? Don't give any hints. As Angelica Pickles would say, a blank bar is is chocolate and nuts and caramel and green stuff and it's swirled and stirred and rippled and beaten and sweetened and you can't stop eating. But um, um, I don't have the correct number of spaces in that. I may or may not have the correct number of spaces for the answer, so don't worry about it. Number six, what is the candy creation of South Park's chef? Number seven, now, don't tell anybody if you know what this stands for. That's part of the hint. That's part of the toughness of the question. What do TMNTs eat? Okay, the next question. And this one has a little hint with it. What type or style of pizza does Navin Johnson eat? Now, the answer is something like deep dish or thin crust, the Chicago style. I don't want something like pepperoni pizza or onion pizza. It's not the topping. It's the style that I'm looking for. Number nine, in the Simpson universe, the most popular beer is blank. And the last one, number 10, is a multiple choice. Tino's universe, she had movie universe. What is Red Apple? A, an apple. B, a boxer. C, a brand of cigarettes. D, a nickname for heroin. 
or E, a nickname for a sexual foot massage? Go to your rooms. <laughs> Deborah, you're going to be going into room. You didn't four. send us to our rooms. Four. I don't know if I can. Deborah's going to be going into four. Thank you. Dream jokers. I don't know if I have the power to do that. Yes, you do. I do? Okay. There it is. What is it I always say? I only have one job here. <laughs> yeah, but see, I have only like half the screen. When I have to open it up ah. bigger to see it. That's You have the power, though. In that first... Um... The only one I've got is for number, is number one. Oh, you're supposed to be with... Um... Oh, that's yeah. right. You're right. Sorry. Never mind. Thank you. Good Good call. You're welcome. And thank you for talking the, the group into doing a skeptic. I just came to say that, I guess. Let me get out of here. Uh, leave breakout room. I need to go to room three. Boy, am I scattered. Because we're changing. I believe it's IT. Krabby Patty's P-A-T-T-I-N. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, we've got Susan. Yeah, but I'm no Hi. help. I love cartoons, but I don't know any of this. I love SpongeBob. Can I only get this? Us oh, yeah, Krabby Pat. Well, with a K. Krabby it's Krabby what? with a K because spelling counts. Oh, Brontosaurus Krabby. Burger. That's excellent. There's also upside down flip rubble bubble cakes, but they thought Krabby that was too what? Long. Pat cat? Patties. P A T T I E S. Who is Noel Rogers? No idea. I, I, I don't know who that is. Somebody's got to know who Rogers. that is. Rogers? Never heard of it. No, but yeah, we're 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 stumped there because nobody gets a reference. So four is spinach. Four? Spinach? Oh, is that Popeye? Popeye oh. the same. Oh, good for you. Where could you go? Yeah, I got one. It's okay. I didn't know that one. I wouldn't have gotten that. Oh, nothing. Okay. A, a blank bar is chocolate and nuts and caramel. Does anybody know who Angela Pickles is? I knew That's Pickles. one of those kids shows, right? Well, the Pickles is a cartoon sh cartoon you read, but they don't have an Angela Pickles. Was it, wasn't there Angelica. a song? Angelica Pickles. Is there one that's like a Saturday morning cartoon kind of thing? Rugrats or something? Quite possibly. She's not in Rugrats. But it's no. It's like chocolate, caramel, nuts. I don't know what the green stuff is. And green stuff. And it's swirled and stirred and rippled and beaten and sweetened until you can't stop eating. Yeah, that's going to be some kind of weird like word. It, it's not an Nanaimo bar. It's, you know, not peanut brittle. Um, number six, if we're moving on to that, is Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls. Chocolate Salty Balls. Like Shvetty Balls. Yeah. There's a whole song about suck on my chocolate salty balls. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Chef. <laughs> I'm so glad we've got that on audio. Right? I'm Let's glad record a thing. Recording. Uh, the only TMNTs I know are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and oh pizza. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And only pizza. And only pizza. <clears throat> only Ew. pizza? Pizza. Yeah, pizza, pizza, That's and right. pizza. Okay. Navin Johnson. I don't know who Norval, Norval Rogers or Navin Johnson are. Could he be one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, they're all named after. Um, oh, Michelangelo, like Mark, Michelangelo, yeah. Donatello. Yeah, I can't and believe this I know that. Is a style. So he said it's like deep dish or Neapolitan or Chicago or Chicago or New York. Okay, so name one of the ones he didn't name, and that's the answer. California. Is that a type we have of a style pizza? in California? I know we have a pizza kitchen, but California pizza kitchen. California style pizza, absolutely. And he I didn't think he had a style. <laughs> um, so New York, I think it's something he didn't mention. Yeah, New York's not mentioned. Um, it's deep dish, thin crust, or Chicago style, not something like topping. So, so the the ones that he mentioned, and we're probably 
he's not going to use one of the ones mentioned, right? Right. Deep dish thin crust or Chicago. That's what he said. So New I York think and New York and crust. New York or what? Thin crust. Deep crust. Thin I crust. I've heard of a deep crust. Um, in thin. Detroit, there's thin a square crust. pizza, a square thick crust pizza in Detroit. Somebody pick one. I've never heard of anybody eating a California pizza other than the restaurant. But thin crust. New York. Probably New York. Yeah, go to New York. Because you know, New Yorkers go other places and they all yammer on about how great New York pizza is. They are. Number are nine they? is Duff. You think I grew up in New Duff York? Beer. D U F F. -F. Oh. Yeah. D Duff beer. No, D is in dog. D U X X? F F, -F. F is in Frank. F, F is in fuck. F is in fuck. E. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we're being, ta we're being taped? No, nobody yes. cares. I always mark it so that kids can't watch. Blink, bleep that out. Don't you have- I, I don't do editing. Can't we get AI to do that? <laughs> Not today, maybe someday. What Knowing Quentin Apple? Tarantino, it's probably D or E. Yeah, I would go with D or E. The and I'm leaning to E. No idea. Yeah, no. Let me take a vote. <laughs> what were you leaning towards, Kat? E. E? E? Yeah. I've never heard anyone refer to heroin as red <laughs> apple. In all your vast heroin experience, I'm In surprised. All of my vast heroin experience. <laughs> she is, she has led a wild life, I tell you. Totally. The stories I hear about Kat, oh my God. <laughs> some, of, some, some of them's got to be true. Only half. Well, then that's wild still. <laughs> but we have an answer for everything but three and five. Yeah, three and five. Um, who's Norval Rogers? Norval <laughs> Rogers. Neither of those idiots. I want to, I don't, I, okay. Is it, is it that guy who does the Canadian Mountie thing, the Bullwinkle and Rocky stuff? I don't know why. Norval sounds like one of those people who would be <laughs> Bullwinkle and Rocky. But yeah, what he eat? So I know real, I know maple maple and rocky, and I don't remember anything. Yeah, else. it's not Rubble like Rocky's. Yogi Bear, right? Where he he needs his picnic basket. Picnic, a picnic <laughs> basket. That's how they always or said it. Yosemite. You do that? Picnic basket? No, she's joking. She's talking about something else. I or have no Rocky. idea. Yogi Bear, but I don't know what kind of. We got to name some like American, uh, I think you guys call them candy bars. Oh, um, that would be chocolate, chocolate, nuts, caramel, and green stuff. Green stuff, what could green stuff be? Seaweed, seaweed. Well, you think if her name is pickles and it's green stuff, it would have something to do with pickles, right? Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe. pickles, a pickle bar. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Uh, it's got to be a funny name it can't be a regular name because a pickle bar would make no sense it would be if it was like a co co nickel or something like that it would be chocolate and nickel chocolate and pickle or a nickel bar a knickle bar a nickel bar what's a can well, it's chocolate, nuts, caramel, and green stuff, and swirled and stirred and rippled and beaten and sweetened until you can't stop eating. I don't know. Okay. I just made the word. I, don't, I just made the word. Don't, don't go with me. But I'm saying it's going to be something like that. It's going to be a made up. It's going to be a word that's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Oh, good lord. Oh, um, Watch you it. said pickles, and I know we were talking about number five. Mm hmm. But there was a cartoon. I'm trying to think of if Nor Norval Rogers fits, but they would eat pickle pizza for number three, not number five. Okay. When okay. you said pickles, pickle I'm like pizza. pickle pizza was a thing. Okay, put pickle pizza for three. It's better than the answer we have now. 
Better than nothing, yep. Just put something like Dream Bar or something for five. Better than, yeah. Something in there. Yeah, I have no idea who that person is. But pickled pizza, I'm trying to remember where, like that's going way back to my childhood. <laughs> that must be what, Tapper? <laughs> oh, yeah. 15 years. So <laughs> long yeah, ago. Yeah. Checks in the mail, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording too, so I should get a little recording just to check. But it's spelled with a Q U E, and you probably can't capture it in America. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'll have, I'll have Adrian take care of it. Yeah. Do you, do you guys oh, know right. know who um three or eight is the character? No. Oh, okay. Nope. No. Nope. But I I'm guessing the things. Yeah. No Number idea. three, if you knew, you'd know. Number eight, you really have to know the character and know the movie pretty well. That's a tough question. Number eight. Anybody else get it? I'm not sure. So far, I haven't seen anybody get it. it seems everybody. So we didn't get it. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Uh, um... uh, but team, I have no idea what that person would eat. So we're okay. still in the same position. Well, it's, I'm just impressed you. <coughs> what? It's there. <laughs> <That's> the <Rolodex>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Lee is back. Would mute. Um, I wasn't muted a minute ago. I didn't know Leah disappeared. Oh, thought he did. Did you? I don't know. I maybe I'm going crazy. It's no, we that's probably already there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, so are you taking are you taking are, are you taking anybody along with you? Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm All right. Play. I'm going to play the answers in a PowerPoint. Okay. I was bored at work today, but oh, I'm going to post the nice answers. I know that you guys are wasting your time at work playing tri and doing trivia. Well, this is a company computer. I hope they're not listening. <laughs> uh -oh. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> um, anyway, um, so I'll see if I can share it. There's no sound to it. Just the photos. Um, Anything copyrighted that we need to worry about uh, recording? No. Cartoon images? Right. Cartoon yeah. images? Can you show cartoon images? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. images. You've done it before. Audio video. They're all it. public domain now. All of them. All those ones they were talking about probably are. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to show my share. My, oh, there it is. Share my screen. Can you all see that? Um, Yay. Yeah. Yay. Oh so no, I was wrong. Ribs. Okay. Oh, Brontosaurus right, ribs, dinosaur ribs, mammoth ribs, or Brontosaurus burgers. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't any one of them. You were right, Deborah. Don't worry. And okay. he also ate I was a looking at giant, the picture. <laughs> a big giant chicken leg one time. So if you said that, that's okay. And somebody said something about a cake. A flip if, side upside down flip rubble bubble cake. The yeah, that'll be okay. Too. If we that. got more than one, do we get extra points? Nope, you just get one. Oh, <laughs> number two, the spelling. Frabby is with a K. Yay. Yay. Does I know somebody knew who Norva was? Oh, there no. you go, Scooby what? Snacks. He mm -hmm. also, I also would accept large sandwiches. Where did you get that? Norville, uh, his real okay. name. Real or Jackie's, Jackie's real they name. Had real name. Jackie's <clears throat> real name. He has. Jackie doesn't logic. eat Scooby snacks. Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. He's, He's done it multiple uh, times. Yeah. And he eats big giant sandwiches. Probably because so all the giant sandwiches. Both. I accept that too. <laughs> all the weed. You can't tell the difference. When, when you're high, Scooby snacks yeah. are a delicacy. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're delicious. Scooby snacks. The next one is Popeye. Yay! Um, finish. Thank you. Finish. And the I'm reptile bar. Was... Uh... Oh, and what's the reptile bars? The Rugrats cartoon. Rugrats, Angelica, we mentioned Angelica, that. Jelka hmm. Pickles in from Rugrats eats, okay. and they eat reptile bars, and they make a real one on the right. That's a real bar you can buy it in the store. Oh, the Rugrats well, show is time. hilarious. I haven't watched it in years, but man, it was funny. Chef's ch chocolate salty <laughs> balls. Chocolate salty balls taste my chocolate salty balls, kids. 
Nice. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles eat pizza. Does anybody know who Navin Johnson is? He yes, did. thank you, Carl. We did, and we're going to argue. No. He eats couple pizza or pizza you, from a cup. Will you accept liquid pizza? <laughs> Oh boy, that's a tough one. Is it in liquid form or is it just in a cup? That's the question. I mean, he's eating it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. Is that from the jerk? Get the jerk. Oh, the movie the jerk. Oh, David Johnson is the cast. It's not name. a cartoon. It's live okay, action. Okay, this but is it also says and Anna other stuff. stuff. Number ten is not a cartoon. Yeah, oh, other stuff. She means the gate. Stuff. What I just said. You see I the little it. cartoon character. It says Navin on his hat. That's a cartoon. Navin oh, Johnson. No, Navin pizza? What the heck was. would that be? It's wow. liquid pizza. It's pizza without pizza the in a cup or a cup of pizza. Like, you can check where he blended with, with beer. In, in the movie, he cup. says something. This guy makes a bet. This guy makes the best cup of pizza ever because yep. he because he likes somebody else's better. That's two different Ugh. options. Well, it keeps your hands clean. Stuff beer. That's true. Do you need the umlaut? No. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it look more exotic. Yeah. And then there's the the apple uh, pack of cigarettes, red apples brand of cigarettes. Oh, oh we got it right. Oh, that makes sense. Wow. Way to go, Kyle. That's and I've never noticed it at all. She even asked it. Oh, you got a pack of red apples when they're at the diner. In one of the movies, the old ones, that he has red. He has red apple tobacco. Oh, it's been in a bunch of different things, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw I it. saw Pulp Fiction and I saw a couple minutes of Kill Bill. Oh yeah, I've seen all of those older ones and the and oh I'm having like serious nostalgia. <laughs> Kill Bill anniversary. Oh of god, <laughs> for for cigarettes. <laughs> okay, good job. So post the answers and now score time. No Bill. Okay. Oh, I have to show or I get in trouble. Oh, Carl, did you mean to post your answers in addition I totally to the document? To my into the chat. Okay. <laughs> I just remembered that. All right. So I, I had mean, given. I posted the document. I gave Extreme Jokers. Deborah, what'd you get? Seven. Good job. All right. You're in the lead. Yay. Let's enjoy that for the yeah. moment. For now. Mitch, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Carol will take care of it. We got the reverse of them. We got a five. Oh, you're <laughs> still hey a tie. All right. Okay, tie we waited a long time, Mitch. Six. Six. What the difference, sir? Okay. All right. The Scotus can take a flying leap. Day. Nine. Good job. Mm. Wow. And observe this. Ten. Oh, Hold on. Did, he give, did you give us? Did you give us liquid pizza for cup of pizza? Mm. I was on How else could you How have gotten ten? <laughs> I, I, I'm making sure. Yeti I don't. I don't know if that's right because it's definitely <laughs> cup of pizza, and they don't call it liquid pizza. Executive decision. Executive decision. You need did, to make you, an executive wait, decision did, and stop did, flip flopping. Let me ask you a question. Did you know that who Jit Navin? Navin was in the movie. Yes, we knew yes, it was from the jerk, but we that, couldn't remember. And I'll give you, you, know, give you the point. Okay. I'll give you the point. We got 10. All right. Okay, so before we do our picture, I'm just going to throw out there that I only have Rob next week and I have Lee for category for bonus. And that's it. So next week's going to be very sparse if I don't hear, have some, see some hands raised. Is that cat's hand moving? I see Rob, Robin. 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 got a finger up. We're going to get Antarctic questions. Everybody Robin, you don't you don't have a thing a birds. meeting next week, do you? An HOA meeting? Yeah, Never mind. I do have an HOA meeting. Okay, so right, turn that. your camera a little bit so you look like Carolyn's um, hand go up. The uh, inspector Carolyn, all gadget. Right. Hand up. <laughs> Kyle, that's funny. About there you go, inspect the gadget. <laughs> go go inspect the gadget. Go go gadget. Is that <laughs> Lee? That's uh, uh, the drama. Oh, Lee's already got a category. <laughs> I think my HOA meeting next week is going to be a short one because it's a special meeting. Should so, I put you in late? You, if you want, you can put me in late. Okay, and I need one more, but we can come back to it whenever I grab one of you guys who's not been 
who didn't volunteer this time. Okay. So everybody get ready for your picture. You guys already know. We've done this 204 times. I hope fabulous <laughs> already. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Got it. Oh, look at Corey. That was great. <laughs> okay. I'll do a category. It's Karen. Karen wants a category. Okay. okay. Today is 2024-02-29. Robin, why didn't you show your stuff during the break? You want me to? I don't see it. I don't is see it five time. minutes long? It's 20 minutes long, but I could show the first five or 10 minutes. If yeah, yeah. Want to see it. Give us a couple right. of minutes and then talk. Show us the best five or 10 minutes. I want to see yeah. the tattoo. It's I want the thing. I can, I can show you the tattoo. the tattoo live here. Can I continue Ooh. the recording or no? Uh, It's not. I don't think it's copyrighted. But okay. It's Did they put a little C on your yeah. tattoo? A copy a little oh no for the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see right, what hang on a second. On All right. Let me get this thing up and running. Adrian's gonna do for hers. What's that? <laughs> I'm worried about your category like, <laughs> and what you threatened to do last week. Yeah. <laughs> More stuff of, that I've talked to you about and which means that I won't know any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obscure oh. that it's like not gonna We're in big trouble. we're in big trouble again. <laughs> All right. Still no, no bill, huh? No, I hope that room is coming up with something quickly. Oh, it's Bill. Oh, I thought it was the anybody uh... have his number? No. Text him. I can go next if necessary. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. if anyone's making up a, a category, um, I'm just saying, Anybody... Keanu Reeves has got a lot of good movies that you can pick. <laughs> <laughs> you would just win that like crazy. I can make a category like quickly. Which, can you guys see my, my room? Screen? In yeah, what's in my can't... room? What's on my desk? <laughs> what's in your room? <laughs> I just I saw you ten things in my room. We yeah. see it. Yes, okay. See it then I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to try to turn the sound mm -hmm. down. Okay. So here we are. That's where we had our safety lectures. Dining room. Oh, uh, it's really short. Small, huh? So we're headed out to the Falkland Islands first. We're leaving from Ushuaia. That is a slender build prion. Another slender build prion. Um, uh, a short fin pilot whale. This is my tattoo artist here, Andres. Ooh, what a beautiful photo. Nice. Did you get inked on the boat? I got inked on the boat in wow, Antarctica. <laughs> so the first place we went in the Falklands was called uh, West Point Island. And the guy who oh. was showed us around, this is oh, the Cobb's Wren. Oh, um, And we went to- little mouse thing at the bottom where the sound is. Is that uh, a... Wait a minute, what? Okay, you got it. Never mind. Wait, you got it. Look at that goes? camera. No, it's wow. a baby. Uh, mm -hmm. Southern rock upper penguin, a baby black browed albatross, Australian dude named Barry, <laughs> mommy black browed <laughs> albatross. Are these the pictures the are taken eyeliner. at the event? Oh, baby, they took baby it? penguin, mommy Robin. albatross. Robin. Robin. Yeah. Are these Hang pictures on. taken oh. from your thing? I mean, they, these... the people who I, I did not take these pictures. The people, so we had expedition leaders and they had long lenses and they were taking pictures constantly. So, and then they put the slides and show together at the okay, end. Okay, so these are from the event, this, just... What kind is this? This is a baby Southern rock hopper penguin on the Falkland Islands, West Point Island. Oh, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to a, a colony. It was a mixed colony of black browed albatrosses and Southern rock hopper penguins. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll start, start it up again. Now I know how to stop wow, it. Wow, look black at these lenses on wow. these cameras. Yeah. This is a um, this oh, is I a thought... long-tailed meadowlark. Yeah. I think Adrian's it's... drooling now. Yeah. This is a uh, this is a common bird in Patagonia, also. Yeah. I thought some of those uh, I thought some of those birds uh -huh. looked like rather sharp turns. <laughs> That's your rock hopper right there. Now this one is called striated caracara. Uh, it's endemic to the Falklands. It's one of our endemics. 
baby penguins. Then, so the penguins, if you look here, they they're molting into adult plumage, and they still have a little bit of down, and sometimes it looks like a funny hairdo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got little. So what's on their chest there? This is so the penguin colonies. Um, and with global beat warming, them. this is they getting... beat them viciously. No. <laughs> yes, they Chocolate. poop. They poop pink because they eat krill, and so they get all covered with each other's poop because they it's a colony and they're walking through each other's poop all the time. Mm -hmm. So they turn pink and then as soon as they go in the water and swim, they get clean again. Mm. Oh, and look here's at this, that. this. This let me go back a little bit. Uh, it's not it's not krill cakes. Crabby <laughs> <laughs> Pabby, Crabby Pabbies. Crabby <clears throat> Patties. Um God, there was a baby black brown albatross there on the nest. Mm. I don't know if you saw it. Yep. Um this one, that's that baby albatross. Yep. Wow. wow. And then um, they got us to, to land on the Falkland Islands. Um, the, everything was like weather dependent. And it was just, it, we went for a really early landing. And then we went to the people's house, the sheep farmers that live in this particular place near this colony. And yeah. they're, they're used to entertaining cruise liners and they had tea. And I, I swear to God, I think I had six cups of tea. I was so... Uh, <laughs> craving coffee because I we got up and got on the boat at like six in the morning and then anyways they had all these wonderful so cakes somebody and, pays these people to do this it's like a stop yes back. yes like our cruise liner pays these people to service tea and cakes wow how nice. they don't do in it this... out of the goodness of their own heart <laughs> no <laughs> and this landing was pretty hairy actually did you get Striated. on that boat oh yeah oh, Striated geez. Care Magellanic Penguin is coming there this is gen 2 penguin uh black brown night heron uh, juvenile oh. striated <clears throat> cara cara again uh wow. one of the steamer ducks this will be the falkland steamer duck look at how beautiful and this one oh let me try God. to remember what this is uh this is a fly Bird. catcher of some kind of tyrant i can't remember the name of it you guys probably don't care anyway <laughs> i wouldn't uh, know if you were telling the truth or not steamer ducks <laughs> cobs wren falklands endemic uh falklands uh, uh, uh pintail yeah, probably yeah. and a magellanic snipe oh snipes um, exist this snipes is the exist. endemic siskin i think this one's called an austral brush just like a robin gosh robin you got on that i did oh my god i'd be puking over the side <laughs> <laughs> one guy actually it was my tattoo artist andres he he flipped a zodiac one day oh, oh burr 32 degree water oh look at this, this. is port stanley in the falcons it's very english there you can kind of see i i have no opinion about the falkland islands conflict but oh, i understand it's a vulture that's a, just a regular turkey vulture like ours hmm. um but but i what i can tell you is that this conflict has been going on for 500 years first it was be between spain and and England and now it's between Argentina and England. That but it's right. just there's like Land Rovers all over the place, fish and chips. It's very English. Twenty five hundred people live there. Hmm. And this guy, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we have any um, Patrick O'Brien fans, but <clears throat> the guy, oh, this was yeah. the distillery, and he was a Patrick O'Brien fan, and I got some gin called Dog Watch, which is straight oh, out of Patrick cool. O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> We have every book of that of his. I love his stuff yeah. so much. So then we're going to South Georgia Island, which is David Attenborough's favorite place. And we're seeing lots of albatrosses. That's a Southern Royal albatross. Um, hourglass dolphins. Uh, soft plumaged petrel. Wow, nice. Wow. Oh. Beautiful. There's ton, tons of seabirds. It's wonderful. We had to vacuum our stuff. You, you really. This is called a um, uh, <laughs> Southern Royal Albatross again. Um, soft plumage petrel. The other one was called a. It'll, and, okay, so this one. I'll just stop there. This one is a is a southern right whale. I missed this sighting and I could kick myself because it was one of my number one things that I wanted to see in the Southern Ocean, Southern right whale. And uh, I was just about 30 seconds too late. 
Uh, but it, but this is an example. I think the gray whale is like this too. It has this type of heart-shaped yeah. blow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is how you can often identify a whale by the blow. And this is one of the types that you can identify by the blow. So there it is, a little better. So then we we go to oh, 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 look at cute. Oh, look. covered with fur seals. And you know, it's so sad. The whalers came in here in the 1800s and just killed everything in sight. Just killed all the whales, killed all the fur seals. Um, fur seals have come back pretty well. The whales, not as much, but. Wow. Wow. Lots of wow. ping penguins. Awesome. That's where you need to get them all hats. The baby king <laughs> penguins are brown. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. So beautiful. Mm. Really beautiful. And, and the fur seals would like chase you around and they were a little scary. <laughs> they told us to go like that. <laughs> I have to do that a lot. <laughs> so this is a South Georgia pintail. It's an endemic species. And... They've had a wonderfully successful rat eradication program there on South Georgia. And the South Georgia pipit, which is coming up here, used to be hard to see. But uh, now that the rats are gone, they bounced right back. You might want to stop there because that's a little over five minutes. And I think that you can. Okay, see I can I can do the rest at the end. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is oh one, of the old, well, one of the old. Well, one of the old whaling stations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll be right uh, so it must so, have been fairly calm waters if you got inked on board. Mm -hmm. Um, it was so. Well, um, you haven't seen the tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like so there's these different currents. So first of all, you have the Drake Passage, where the currents there's a place where the currents kind of smash into each other, and that's why the Drake is difficult a lot of times. But there's one current that goes one way, and there's one current that goes the other way. And once you actually get down to the continent, it's dead calm because you're out Wait. of those those opposing currents. And you can tell when you've passed through one to the other. It's interesting. So when we when we were really down in Antarctica, it was we were just zodiacing around in calm water with little icebergs all around. <laughs> nice. That looks cool. wonderful, but, Robin. Yeah. It was yeah. so cool. <laughs> also, I have to say. <laughs> Buenos Aires is, is an outstanding city to visit also. And Ushuaia, Patagonia is stunning. If you're into hiking and you ever want to go trekking in Patagonia, that's just fantastic all by itself. Well, well of course, Darwin did a bit of that. <laughs> did he go trekking or hiking? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah let's see. He named him. It might have been him who named a mountain in in the, in 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 that area of Mount Fitzroy after the captain of the Beagle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you. I enjoyed it a lot too. <laughs> Except I'm falling asleep now. I'm gonna go and dream about going to Antarctica. I'm still falling asleep. I'm <laughs> falling right, asleep from because Buenos Aires is five hours ahead of us, so it, mm -hmm. it's one o'clock for me. Yeah. But okay. I guess. Hi, Wendy. Uh, Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. I guess, I guess I'll. Uh, Hi, Wendy. I, guess I'll I guess I'll be heading off too. Oh, hey, you bye. are leaving so that you don't Hi, have to Wendy. do a category right there. Like flies. And Hi. I think it's me too because I had the surgery yesterday. So. Oh. Oh. Okay, Gail. Okay, oh. oh. Happy Hi, recovering. Take care, Gail. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Gail. Be well. Your help. Bye. Everybody's going on this. Okay. So and I want to know how the TSA thought Kyle's pizza was liquid. Well, they confiscated peanut butter, uh, curry powder, and they had a bomb expert come out to look into my chicken bouillon. It was a whole <laughs> thing. No, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, for real, for real. I could Why did they? was a bomb expert because his shirt, real big, said explosives expert. <laughs> Why did they take your powder, or your curry powder? Because I thought that would be okay. You would think so. I, I feel targeted, to be honest with you. <laughs> where where oh, were you coming on. from? Who, who wouldn't suspect I mean, you? Where were you flying? Fair enough. I LA? was headed out of L.A. at the time. You know, a good strong curry can produce explosive reactions, but it's normally pretty delayed. <laughs> it might be because the curry could have, could have 
cover to the smell of whatever <clears throat> could have been inside or something. You know, like a yeah. dog would be yeah. able to. Who knows? I it's know they say a mask, it spreads. Yeah. It's liquid. It's not. It's a pretty okay. strong scented thing. The whole thing pisses me off. But don't get me started on this TSA stuff because I'm right. pissed at that ridiculous stupid thing well i have a similar story not similar but from buenos aires leaving buenos aires i went through their version of tsa it's a lot like ours then i go to the water bottle filling station and i fill two water bottles to put in my backpack and then they still made me throw out those water bottles before i got on the plane ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey i, I tried to I, was, I tried to get a, i tried to get a pl on a plane with my with my bows and they wouldn't let me on because they don't allow weapons on the plane. Wow. So. How is well, that a your weapon? Case, like, I've heard him play. It's a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for that. In his case, yeah. You know. <laughs> All right. Do we have any announcements? Let's see. What do we got? Wendy just left. We're going to be doing Skeptic Camp in L.A. Um, it's going to be absolutely a blast. Jane and Adrian will be there. Um, and me and me and deborah's going i Hi. will be there we're gonna be there for several days so we gotta find when is it yourself march 20 plus it's on the 23rd 24th yeah we're gonna go down on a thursday and come back on a tuesday i guess so yeah this should be a blast we're gonna rent a house so that'll be a lot of fun um we're gonna be doing something in new mexico a safety camp in New Mexico. There's going to be one in Eugene, and it looks like we might have one in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Ooh, one in, in uh, Buffalo, New York. I only, I said I want to do four this year. I might end up doing eight. Ooh, I might wow. do Deborah, 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 Deborah. This what? is going to be spalled. So you just let us ahead of time to prepare yourself. You're sitting down, right? Yeah. We might do another skeptic camp in, in July. In, in Monterey? Yep. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's a true. Well, I knew you know, the, um, she's the like, skeptic cow is going to be in, I think, in July, right, Carolyn? It's, June. it's the 19th of July. Yeah. July. Yeah. July. Yeah. July 19th, 20th, 21st. Oh, I thought it was June. No, July. Is it going to be online? Yes. So then what, what does it matter? That? And well, then but, there's, there's but also about getting together um, to watch it, getting locally together to watch it. And actually That's that right. you mentioned that Karen, there's going to be a global skeptics in the pub. So they're going to try and have everybody on the 19th, get your local groups together um, in person um, and join in on zoom and post pictures on Facebook and stuff. But they're trying to do the whole day on the 20th, the, the 19th rather. So Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Anybody got any other announcements? Just I'm doing the newsletter and trying not to giggle this week. Why? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. <laughs> Sorry. We won't recognize you all know words. it's going to be absolutely futile. So <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if it's serious <laughs> stuff, maybe. Kyle, you got anything? I do. I have a new one out in our little animal intelligence series. I'm talking to a researcher who studies something called optimal foraging theory. How bees and also frog eating bats choose where to hunt. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. So I was listening to that and a question popped into my head. What's the difference between a honeybee and a bumblebee? I wish I could answer it. I'll have to get Big back to you. Big difference. Look it up on Wikipedia. I'm sure Bumble there is. Bumblebees tend to be solitaire. Yeah. And and uh, honeybees live in a oh, colony oh. altogether. Well, I, I know that I know honeybees live in a colony, but some of the things she said indicated or implied that bumblebees have um, group behaviors as well. So I was confused. Robin? I, so you need to go back do you and know? redo the episode. Indeed. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know in a way that I could recite, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Bumblebees aren't supposed to be able to fly. Bumblebees. Bumblebee they have a whole different buried. shape. And so who is, who's the guest? Who's your expert, um, Kyle? Uh, she is a University of Tennessee professor. Okay. Just wondering if it might be anyone I knew. The The episodes are really interesting. I highly recommend I, them. I will definitely listen to that one. 
Okay. I think. So, oh, and uh, one other thing is yeah. uh, Pat and I got together yesterday and attempted to not giggle. And <laughs> <laughs> she will be on the skeptic zone probably next week talking about mewing. And I'm not mewing. saying more. Mewing? Mewing. Like in cats? I'm not saying anything more. But you said <laughs> it was with an air right? Out. Working on your jawline, are you? Oh, Jane. Jane. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I and I saw I saw this guy who was talking about how the students are saying even saying in class like that they like there's some signal that they're like giving their teacher like I can't answer you because I'm mewing right now yeah. like <laughs> yeah Kat discovered this one yeah, yeah we'll have to get that. um tomorrow I think that um if weather isn't stormy which I don't know if it will be um, Karen and, and Robin and I are going to go to see a play or a comedy thing, Monterey, and have pizza. Well, regardless of weather, I bought. She's, She's going. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the story. Oh, and so everybody who hasn't already received a copy of the latest Skeptical Inquirer, it's quite good. Uh, lots of good stuff from people here in this group. Actually. That's right. Yep, there's a lot of stuff in here. I have an article in here. Adrian has an article in here. Carl has a Carl. Uh, tons yeah. of pictures. Yeah, has tons pictures. of pictures. I had to think, is it Carl or Kyle? <laughs> I hate that. I cannot remember. Um, Carl has a has like the whole magazine of pictures. I'm the audio one. He's the visual one. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then <laughs> so that that you might want to pick up a copy of that and and so that'll be a blast. I have an article that I just submitted to Skeptical Inquirer about psychics, but so Cat what else is new? Cat and Cat I'm hated Cat everywhere Cat nowadays, and it's just been very interesting. <laughs> it's life has been strange. Okay. So but weird. But you guys don't hate me, do you? Not at all. No. We love okay. you. So that's the reason why I keep showing up. What, Carolyn? So I just wanted to say um, when I was at SciCon, I really enjoyed looking at different swag that was on your table and I took the idea from Janine's group Oregonians for Science and Reason their bookmarks I thought bookmarks were an excellent idea so our bookmarks just came in oh, oh nice hey, Rush good. Around table. yep good job you have really nice fancy ones so they they slick paper and everything yeah where did um, you have them printed uh David Diskin had them printed on uh Vistaprint I like Mr. Print. That's a good place. To yeah. Do. So yeah, anyway, works. thank you for the idea, Janine. Great. Um, I have one more thing I should before before Caroline goes anywhere. Um, we have a, a speaker. Um, Bill London. I don't know if you guys know who Bill London is. William London. You'll see him. Mm -hmm. He has a Wikipedia page. He's a fellow of CSI. He's retired now. He's a he's an expert on quack stuff. And he's quite prolific writer, speaker, all that stuff. He's going to be speaking at Skeptic Camp in L.A. in March. But his son lives in Portland, Oregon. So he's going to be driving up to Portland, Oregon, taking three days to do it because he's got two little puppy dogs. Aww. And he is looking to do talks on his way up and on his way back. So just FYI, anybody who wants him, we can make him stop into your location and you can do a hangout and picnic, i think we talk i tried to get the room today i think we're going to have him speak in portland on the 7th but it's dependent on of my, april april 7th okay so he'll be he's the first going, week in april he'll be and he might do portland. more than one like you know his son's there so he might go up in <laughs> april and then he might go up again in june or july so okay um, anybody on that route if we could get um, him stopping in your location, I think he would be happy to do it. Like, you know, like maybe he'd go to the Bay Area Skeptics this time and then on the way back, come by and do Lodi and, and Sacramento or area or something like that, you know. Kind yeah, of maybe JJ and I can like combine. So we have a group of people. Or I something. think that'd be great, but it should be something where I think where he can take his dogs like a outdoorish kind of thing mm -hmm. or I don't know, think about it, but it's summer, so it should be outdoorish or maybe a location that you could do that. I don't know what his requirements are about that, but I think he'd be happy to have, and I think it'd be 
awesome if you guys got him up there so we can put you in touch with him and um, get it all planned out. So I'm glad to hear that that's going to happen. All right. So we're back. Um, did I think I got everything filled up for next week, right? Technically speaking, we're back. We're front. And center. <laughs> Karen said she would do something. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Fabulous. No bill. So, Adrian, you're up next. I'm up. You have I? powers. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to see my picture behind you. Oh, that, was yeah. taken, that was taken in Washington, D.C. It was in the gardens. In the, uh, oh. Right there on the clips. And though that guy was... <laughs> He wasn't there. No, he's he's just. He might have been there, but we didn't see him. He just showed up in the picture, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. But the I'm, hat I'm is pretty real. sure I did wear that. You're hat. looking up at a UFO in that photo, right? <laughs> Adrian, you should yeah, see. There, there is there is there is a couple if, in the big picture of it. There's several UFOs in it. There's several different aliens. You have she to really look them out. Like hide and see. They're so, always there. I know. Adrian, I remind me to show you that these people on Twitter are going nuts with that photo with even more <laughs> stuff. With the one with the, with the they went, a, they went the crystal ball replaced with Neil deGrasse Tyson's head. <laughs> <laughs> they're I don't know if they're making pictures, but they're all saying, "Why don't we replace it with this? Why don't you do that?" And I'm like, "You guys are a bunch of little boys, little wankers." <laughs> we can't oh my God. So much time and energy. So much, yeah, I know. Where's where's your academic? Uh, you know, your best answer to things. Okay. I want to look like I'm massaging Neil deGrasse Tyson's head. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was doing this. Flames <laughs> <laughs> yeah. coming out of the eyes. Yeah. I think you're all 12 over there or something on Twitter. Well, the, and the amount of time that even on Wikipedia, them spending on the talk pages and writing paragraphs and essays mm -hmm. and how you know, listening to that um that thing with the um on the coast to coast, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they're yeah. and they're making those statements that that they think that it's just it's just impossible that these people on Wikipedia have so much time on their hands that they can do all this editing. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? You're spending <laughs> your whole entire life arguing about something you don't even understand. And oh, yeah. just panel after panel after panel, and they're all sitting there with their microphones and their their videos and their all the talking. they're all guys. Yeah, it's they're really interesting. Yeah, they're not I, all I there's some you. women in ufology. A couple, but if like they don't let them talk, though, it's the opposite of psychics. <laughs> well, you gotta guys. let Linda Bolton Howe talk. <laughs> well, they, so I forgot to tell you, yeah, that there was this coast to coast episode that came out on Sunday, and there was two hours where they're talking about me, but they wouldn't talk about me, and I wouldn't ask me to be on. Boy, George, you offered, yeah, George Norrie, he's not liking Wikipedia uh, us at all. He's pretty pissed at me, too. So he was mean, <laughs> like, oh, well. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys. Okay, Those Adrian, I'm people sorry. People are so silly. I know, but whatever. Yeah, I just, I do. I do. You got closure by now. I know the rules. Uh, well, we've got a couple of uh, editors out of it. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's how I found you. That's how Rob found you, right? Was his negative publicity. So <laughs> maybe. What, what I've noticed is the UFO and the Bigfoot world is mostly men. Mm -hmm. And the people who believe in psychics is mostly women. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's definitely. A Psychics in the wellness industry. Yeah, mm -hmm. and holistic it's, it's medicine and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is, as I said last night, I don't want to break promises or anything. I'm going to do all about Susan too. So Susan, hopefully <sighs> you've been paying attention to your own life lately. <laughs> I do. <laughs> We're in so much trouble. <laughs> you, I have, I but well, Deborah, I, I, gonna be I, on I your team now. now. I know that's what I'm saying. Oh, she did this the last time, and I didn't know any of this. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll be in, uh, in there on this, Susan. Don't you remember that? <laughs> Am I on your team, Deborah? Oh, good. Yeah. Boy. yeah. We're screwed. Right. So We're number one. <laughs> this British German physician and researcher has published many books, including in 2008, Trick or Treatment, and in 2022, my favorite, Charles, the Alternative Prince, an unauthorized biographer. Of course, he's the king now. Today, he resigned, this British German physician, not the king. Today, he resigned. I just realized I kind of did a bad sentence there. So 
This British German physician resigned from the GWUP, which is a German society for the scientific investigation of pseudoscience. Who is this person? So lots of clues there. You were paying attention to my feed today. <laughs> yeah, if you don't remember that one, Susan, there's a problem. <laughs> All right. So number two, this place in Hooper, Colorado, has an observation platform and a campground where, since 2000, year 2000, when the facility opened, over 30,000 people have come to look for what? You're asking what they're looking for, not the name of the place? Correct. Recently, there has been a lot of Susan Gerbic controversy regarding the UFO community. One of the shameful things she has apparently done, notice it's in quotes, so shameful in quotes, is to put the incorrect birthplace of Lou Elizondo, I have no idea if I said yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, on his Wikipedia page. However, there is not a reliable source with the apparent correct birthplace. So an editor finally just changed the birthplace to the USA. Name either the state that Elizondo was reported to have been born in or the state he says he was born in. So either one. And it's the state. Not the province. <laughs> province in the and, and, and not a country. Not a condition like he was born in a state of, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that's good, Deborah. That's good. <laughs> Number four. Okay. This one is because Susan posted a picture of Mark planting sunflowers in their garden. So what is the tallest sunflower oh. ever documented? According to Wikipedia, rounded to the nearest foot, plus or minus five feet. Oh, man, that's... That's mean. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, that's it. fair. That's Nobody fair. knows this one. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone can guess that one. It's just a fun piece of information. I that beat. So that you're going to, I, I, you'll like this one, Susan. You better get this one right. This is, you know, uh, the last time it was all about tons. So this time, how many short tons of gravel did Susan use for her front garden? She said it multiple times to multiple people. So hopefully somebody has seen that. Short tons. Yeah. Don't overthink it. That's all I can say. All right. Number six. This American was a paramedic and physician assist assistant before becoming a professional psychic. In 2012, he wrote a book called The Secrets of Unblocking Your Psychic Ability. Who is a psychic? I'm just going to keep them on, set on the team that I'm on and they're going to have to get them. I'm not going to help them. <laughs> See how well they pay attention to yourself. Yeah, seriously. How, <laughs> I talk about all the stuff. I can't keep them bars, but yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and you haven't talked about this one for a while, but you should know it. Carrie Poppy, because we, you and I have talked about it for sure. Carrie Poppy from the Ono Ross and Carrie podcast once thought that where she was living was haunted and that she was being watched by a demon. She also experienced pressure on her chest and auditory hallucinations. What was determined to be the cause of her experience? An invisible person. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Number eight. The New York and Connecticut UFO sightings between eight, 1983 and 1984 often called the Westchester boomerang, were reported as objects the size of a football field in a V or cir a circle shape, flying silently with brilliant red, white, and green lights. These objects apparently would shoot straight up in the sky and then hover for extended periods of time. Describe the hoax that was perpetrated. So what caused those these sightings what was actually happening what was really happening besides ufo sightings hit the wrong key there i deleted my question instead of <laughs> <laughs> 
Good thing control Z works. Okay. So number nine is Respectful Insulins, or AKA David Gorski, recently wrote an article about a well-known osteopathic physician turned alternative medicine tycoon who made his money profiting off the wellness industry, mostly dietary supplements and unproven medical devices. He is now likely being conned by a, a psychic channeler who has convinced the doc that he can save the world, uh, who now sees himself as the new Jesus. Who is this person? So who is the... Who is the person that Gorski wrote about, who is being conned by okay, the... So who is the subject of this? Okay. Yes. So who is the osteopathic physician who turned into an alternative medicine tycoon. He, not he, the psychic channeler. Okay. Not the psychic channeler. We want the uh, the doc, the doctor, the guy that Gorski wrote about. Okay. Hope that's clear. Yeah. It was clear to me when I wrote it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. This one hopefully is a gimme for everybody. Uh, who had, because I think there's lots of people here that know about this. Name a person other than Susan Gerbeck who will be speaking at the March 23rd Los Angeles Skeptic Camp. Oh, it's kind of like an advertisement again, right? All our people watching right now. <laughs> exactly. My psychic ability is telling me that it's one of the people. Uh, that was just talking just well, now. It uh, possibly well, Susan actually named somebody just a minute ago too. So I mean, it was lots of people. These people uh, have names. People have names. Yeah. Amazing. So I, I got a. Any questions? Are there any answers? I'm 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 shocked at how well you pay attention to my life. That's great. <laughs> Facebook is amazing. Yeah, that's basically what I did. <laughs> Stalker. Time, I Stalker. Yeah. All cool. right. Open all rooms. Hopefully they're figure outable for people who don't follow my Facebook. Well, page. that's what I was hoping. Yeah, because I would give other clues, right? So right. I'm going into room four. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm just going to sit here and listen. You're yeah. going to sit here and listen? Mm -hmm. Why? You can at least be able to help us with the tallest sunflower. because That's, yeah, that's the only one I know. <laughs> can you hold it five feet plus or minus? Yeah, I feel like that's, that's a big range. <laughs> oh, that's not said seven. Really. Uh, How about that? And over there and down here. I'll tell you if it's right. How about that? Is this okay for people or because if That's it isn't it. too through. bad. So yeah. Too bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just too bad, so bad. I am nice. very miserable today. I I had a I had an okay day and and then I got my back done and everything, but it's I don't leap know. year day, so it doesn't count. It's leap year day, yeah. So what's the answer to number one? No clue. Nobody knows. I don't know that. I Susan. should. Um, hmm. Should I give you initials? Would that help? It would. E E E E E. -E. Emery, Emery. Oh, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> true, but that's, that's my head very good. Class. You're you're talking about Essert. Oh, Edzard Ernst, maybe. Edzard Ernst. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you have to spell it. Yeah, you don't don't ask me. <laughs> no, entertain it's... us. E D. Oh. No, no. E D Z A R D. E D what? Z A. Z Z Z A R D. A -R -D. A -R -D. Oh, that's right. Z. A -R -D. Edzard. D. D yeah, with a D at the end. D. No, R no, R D. There you go. Ernst. Okay. E R N S T. Brilliant yeah. man. I have Brilliant put, man. I have been able to edit Prince 
Prince uh, King King Charles Charles Wikipedia page multiple Chuck times. Mm -hmm. King Chuck adding Edward Ernst's, uh, words to it it's been quite interesting and now everybody in the world now knows that what I've been doing but that's okay my name's right there okay so where is this place it's what they were looking oh, for is it Bigfoot because I feel like UFOs are too obvious. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know of a good spot in Colorado, so I don't know. All I can remember the, about that is that the at the uh, airport, they thought it was haunted. Oh, I heard it was satanic. <laughs> yeah, I heard well, that. Apparently, they stepped it up in the last couple of years. <laughs> I'm leaning towards UFOs on two, despite that objection. It does make sense if everything, you know, everything can't be UFOs, but 30,000 is a lot. Yeah, go and for a, it. And a platform and a campground. I mean, yeah. you know, you're outside. What what else would you be doing out there? You know, unless in the you woods, you know, in the dark with the... in the woods in the dark, you know. <laughs> Avoiding yeah, the bears. Oh, I know yeah. this one. Nice. But number three. Yeah, number three is uh Florida is where it was said he was born, because it was Miami, and then he was born in Texas. Very good. Corey scores. No. I just read that. It's in my brain. I about number nine because I just read that and I told my husband all about it while we were walking through Costco. Can't remember the dude's name. Oh, how, how is Susan doing here? Is she actually remembering? I'm just, I'm just playing a game on my phone while you guys she's, are. She's okay. making us guess all the things. <laughs> and then you'll come in at the end, right, Susan? I'm telling them how to spell Ed's or right. That's what I did. Nobody's been able to spell that first one yet. It's but yeah. I'm, I'm not D right? <laughs> I've seen all kinds of weird stuff, but Ed it's, Zara. All it's all close enough. He's German. Yeah. Who knows? It's all fanatic or something. Right? Yeah. What is the, the tallest, tallest sunflower? sunflower? God, I am one? really amazed. Plus or minus five feet. That's huge. That makes it a lot. That's like Somebody showed me a picture of themselves standing by it. They put posted up on my Facebook page and it had two adults. And then they had like another adult on their shoulder size above the sunflowers. I can't even. What, how how do I mean? I've grown sunflowers. I don't think they're strong enough. Then they don't. And then they're not deep rooted at all. I don't know how they could be, stay up. Did well, you play Mozart for them? <laughs> well, now there's a thing. I I suppose I'd need someone like Alan to come over and entertain the sunflowers. There you go. That gets you three extra feet. Well, it says five feet, so that's got to mean those are always clues, you know. Yeah. We've learned that. We've learned that, Corey, is that whenever they put the plus or minus on there, it really gives you a clue of what it. Yeah, what it, exactly. Kind of the range that you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Five feet. That's got to be like, I don't know, 28 feet tall. Feet or... I was going to say 14. Yeah, 14? I'm thinking yeah. like 10 to 15 range. So 14 sounds yeah. good. Oh, I think it's higher than that. Yeah, uh, yeah, was yeah, sunflower ever documented? There's going to be some months. freak sunflower somewhere that's 30 feet. <laughs> But it still only has so much strength, you know? I, I guess if you could stake it or put guy wires or something or put oh, it yeah, in that between. Be, it's got to be freestanding. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. say that. Is 14 feet okay then? I think it's higher. No, it's higher. I think higher. it's higher I also. Yeah. I think it's if we do 20 feet, that would give us 15 to 25. Good point. Yeah, do 20. 20. 20. Okay. Yeah. Go higher. Whatever uh, higher, I think you think higher, really? Yeah, I think it's closer to 30. 30 feet, but don't you guys decide? I'm just saying, I think it's closer. It's one sunflower that somebody measured and got a Guinness Book of World Records or something. So somebody's staking it up, probably, and you know, coddling it because somebody had to measure it and everything. It's not like some random. They had to use a um forty a, one of those things, you know, that they, they what are they call that you a crane. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, come on <laughs> out. We need you to measure the our things that surveyors place. use. The um what are those things called? Those things that surveyors Sextons. use their sextants. Yeah, they had to use a <laughs> and they had to have two or three of them so they could do different from different positions, you know. Yeah, that makes sure. sense. So they could calculate this how tall it was. <laughs> They had to do they had to do some geometry and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, so what do we want for the answer then? 20 feet? 30? 
Still good we did about 20. 20. Yeah. Look at you guys. You start out with 15 or 12. <laughs> now you're up to 30. Yeah, All right. How many short how many short tons of gravel? I don't even know the difference. What's a short two. ton? So we're good with 30 feet then? Whoa, I would say, why 20. don't we do like 25? And that way you've got 25? 20, 20 to 30. Yeah. It's plus or minus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be that would be a sunflower for sure. Okay. So how many short tons of gravel? I don't even know how to put that in. Five. I have no idea. Did not pay attention to gravel amounts. Well, well, yeah, don't, don't you guys Canadians gravel. do something different? Don't you don't you have Vincent short short tons? No. Because that's what that's, Adrian and I got into a disagreement about is that when I was talking about gravel, how much gravel to get, she's like, Well, what kind of tonnage are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know. It's a ton, it's two thousand pounds, isn't it? I don't know. We went back and forth on Short tons, regular tons, metric Short tons, and stuff. Metric tons is what we use. Okay, well, it is three tons, and I moved all of it. My abs, man, let me tell you. Underneath yeah. all the fat, <laughs> my abs are like rocks. <laughs> Shoveling gravel is is hard. Boy, yeah, oh. and then it was wet. It was raining, so it was even heavier. Yeah. Who was yeah. the idiot that decided that they were psychic? Oh God! I remember reading about this too. Wait, but you're on which one? None of uh, six. 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 The paramedic and physician assistant. Well, that was the became the professional psychic. Mm -hmm. Secrets to unlocking your psychic ability. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, we could guess Thomas John, but I don't think it's him. No. No. A little late for John Edwards. He was popular earlier. He was a ballroom dancer, professional <laughs> ballroom dancer. <laughs> These people all seem to have other jobs, and they they weren't making enough said, money doing uh, that. So I, they, I don't want to do this for a living. Let's talk. To I want to steal money from little old ladies. That like sounds like yeah, more fun. Better. I don't think Sylvia ever completed a book. Well, yeah, she <laughs> quite prolific. Oh, really? Quite a lot. Yeah, she had bestsellers all the time. Yeah. But it's not it's not Sylvia Brown. It's not Sylvia. Yeah, uh, she used to do tarot readings at home, and she sold real estate. She's another person who was uh, had a felony for um, theft. Was it Tyler Henry? Was that his name? Tyler Henry oh, yeah. wanted to go into hospice. Uh, well, yeah. no. <laughs> he wanted to be a hospice. He wanted to be a hospice nurse, but he never did get there because he got recruited to Hollywood way before. Yeah, he's not old enough to have mm -hmm. done any anything. Mm -hmm. He was 19. Right. Yeah. I'll be RB. Hmm? Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, 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 I thought you are giving us the name of a psychic I hadn't heard of. No, I wish well, I could be helpful with any more of these, but unfortunately I am. Hey, you're supposed to know that. Let's the, skip um, it. I got some more. I know I'm seven. I'm so mad. I, yeah, I know I that article and I cannot tell you the name. Dave Ramsey is what's coming to my head, but I know he's like the money guy. Yeah, so it's yeah. Not, yeah. Him, not Dave Ramsey, but that's a good one. So seven yeah. was a gas leak. It was carbon monoxide. Oh, okay. That? Uh, they're very oh. close ideas. In my head, it was a gas leak, but it could be carbon monoxide. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, because I because it was a carbon monoxide detector. I think they had the gas, right? Either way, gas. Well, oh. someone was burning gas that would make carbon monoxide. If someone was, you know, just spraying gas around, it, no, it was then, in their house. It had a leak in the house. Yeah, oh, yeah. What is that? It, okay. That would be gas. Speaking of gas, yeah. what does... Uh, just, what would either you... one of them would displace the oxygen and then you wouldn't be able to function. Mm -hmm. Speaking of gas, what does Fat Albert say when he passes gas? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 bomb away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now that is a very old joke. I've never heard it old joke oh it's well it's an old boys off, playground almost, joke most yeah. people are almost done so oh okay no. oh, sorry so yeah eight. we'll try to get done i'm sorry no not a problem i'm just We're having too much fun yeah that's all good 
I'm not sure I know eight. Um, well, let's see, what's eight? Flares were Phoenix lights. I wonder if this one is like a Chinese lanterns one. Let's Chinese see. lantern? Huh. Objects the size of a football field in a V shape or something flying silently a brilliant right shoot straight up in the sky and then hover. The huh. colors make me think it's Chinese lanterns. Do that or fireworks. Fireworks don't stick around long enough. Yeah, they wish, right? And they didn't have drones yet. I when I remember I remember I read about this and I and I, of course I got on a down a rabbit hole. Did they have drones yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the early '80s, I don't think. Although I think the government, the government did, but the maybe you and I couldn't have them. Yeah, but it's explicitly called a hoax, and Chinese lanterns aren't usually a hoax; they're usually a misidentification. That's true. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Huh. Or Flying speed. silently, a brilliant red, white, and green. Brilliant red, white, and green light. So they. Have to have some. They couldn't just be balloons because they wouldn't be brilliant. They might be bright, but they wouldn't be brilliant. Mm -hmm. So they'd have to have a light source within them, or be a light source themselves. You can't remember this, Susan. Oh no, I know exactly what it is. Well, okay. she knows what oh. it is. Okay, well, it's, it's a real well, well, page us... I just wrote. Can you like tell us? We're, we're gonna, doing really good. We're running out of time. Oh, have they done the timer yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet, but he says we're close. So get on it. <laughs> oh well, I don't know the answer to any of these. So. Yeah, you're know. not on Facebook. Except so. for ten. So I feel sympathy for you. Well, let's jump to ten Three. then. Oh. Um. Well, I'm. I, is is Adrian going to be speaking? She's going to fly all the way from Canada. Canada. <laughs> oh, then for sure she'd be. I speaking. like when people say they're flying all the way from Canada, and it's like Canada is a huge country. So, what part of Canada is she flying from? It's, it's Anywhere Canada. that's like on the northern border all of our way. country, all the way to almost Mexico is oh, all the way well, somewhere. That's a that's a huge huge area. <laughs> That's true. So, okay, how are you guys doing? Okay, so question eight is Cessnas. Flying in is formation. Who? Cessnas. Oh, okay. Cessna? Yeah. Cessnas. Cessna airplanes? Yeah, and they uh, had lights on the underneath and they were they were hoaxing it by going out a bunch of pilots and they'd go and fly in formation and okay. well, how could they be silent? It was because the people didn't hear because People are making up shit. I mean, none of it was. Oh, great. okay. Yeah, right. was, Fair enough. You know, or just mis, they just so, misreported it. Who is could nine be Dr. Nine? Phil? No. Or, hold on. Now seeing himself as the new Jesus. That's the now, person. I, no, I saw his name. this. Is it Mercola? Is that his name? Oh, Mercola. Or I just read it. So it's, it was, it's Mercola or one of those guys. It might yeah, that, be Mercola. That, that sounds right. right. Does that, that sound right? Because I don't remember. Yeah, I read it and I thought, oh, because I remember I made a comment or somebody else actually made a comment and I was about to. And then I saw theirs yeah, that, that they're that the, they're just turning on each other now. <laughs> like, oh, you're Mason missing name number six. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Do we have six? six. Yeah. Oh, it's Matt Frazier. Oh, Matt Frazier. Okay. Oh, F-R-A-S-E-R. -E sorry, you guys. And then on two. Hmm. So it's not Skinwalker. That's in Nevada. Mm -hmm. What's in Colorado? Number I just two, wrote this I Wikipedia said, page like yesterday, I think. And then I put it up and people have been talking UFOs. about it. Is that not right? It's UFOs. I'm questioning it. That was oh, the answer okay. I was pushing for. It's better than nothing, but... Susan said it's UFOs. Oh. Yeah, I just wrote the page yesterday. It's called UFO Watchtower. UFO. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's right. I did see All that right, post about there. that. And I kept thinking about, you know, like the religious watchtower people. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just took this stub. I didn't know anything about it and just rewrote it. And it, I Yeah, you said it was a nice little stub. It was a what cute little stub. It only took me three hours, I think. So you can't remember number four then? No, I don't know anything about sunflowers other than Mark planted them. <laughs> I don't <laughs> No idea.
I'm very curious how people how much attention people pay to my Facebook page. I was actually really impressed at how really? many people were remembering. It was really good. Now, question number one: the biggest problem with this one was people spelling it correctly. <laughs> yeah, spelling doesn't count. And I will even accept Edward if you said Edward, even though it's not Edward, because oh, it sure. kind of sounds like Edward. Edzard. Yes, Edzard Ernst. Mm -hmm. is the answer to the guy's a prolific writer brilliant man yeah he's got some great books yeah trick or treat yeah, right the alternative prince was the one that nailed it for me yeah and we've written and edward ernst edzar ernst is so notable that when prince charles was uh prince yes we, we did a lot of editing of prince charles's wikipedia page putting in edward put ernst's books and and things Edward wrote, Edzar wrote. So it was fabulous. So if you look I, at King Charles's Wikipedia page now, you'll yeah. see lots and lots and lots of edits, some of them by me. It's so I, I believe they've re uh, re um, issued the alternative prince as the alternative king. Have they? <laughs> oh, we need to update the uh, Wikipedia page. Well, well check because it may it may just be that. That they've it, talked it's about coming it. out still, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think so because he was prince at the time. Yeah, right. We may be getting a new king pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Number two, uh, this is a fun one. But you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's uh, UFOs, and the site is actually called the UFO Watchtower, which is crazy, isn't it? Some people were saying it's UFOs. What? Brandy yeah. goes, oh, it's too, it can't it's be opposed. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Run by a Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I commented on that post. So, of course, I remembered it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, if you've been paying attention to her stuff, then it, it, yeah, it's pretty good. But as I say, I tried to do other clues in there too. You can even make a guess like birds or something. So, oh, uh, oh, so just so you know, number two, I did again. I don't know what happened there. All right. Just in case you missed it. So number three, it's either Texas or Florida. And apparently oh, Texas is true. Corey had it. Florida She's like, I know this fun. one. <laughs> Good. Excellent. I got it. Both the bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> How can there not be proof? I mean, a birth certificate. No, we can't. It may not be available online. That. We're not allowed to take a birth certificate. He keeps saying. Got to be cited I somewhere. Yeah, it has to be cited. And the only site we have is a article uh, that talks about hit, talks about him being a Sarasota, Florida kid raised in Sarasota. And then later on in the article, it says Miami, born in Miami. And I'm like, well, that's, we have to go with that. So, oh, the UFO community thinks we're just the worst because we will not. It is kind of a, a problem on, on Wikipedia where, where there's, it's often difficult to find information like that about people because they're not or famous it's easy when they're to find the information, but it's not in the appropriate it's form. Not, it's not right. citable. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, because well, they're not famous when they're babies, you know, well, usually. It, it, so it, there's nothing written about them till they're much older. And then maybe their information isn't, of you know, nobody's well, written anything about it. Or, every time he's interviewed, drop where he's born. And yeah, that's all he has to do. The article. Now, yeah, yeah but that, that that's assuming that every time he's interviewed, he's thinking about the fact that he might have a Wikipedia page someday. Oh, well, these so. people are... He, he's supposedly <laughs> so upset about this. Yeah, we keep saying we'll give get us a Well, if, and it is possible if he hadn't had a t page that was so vandalized by his followers, all he would have to do is just go in there and say, "Hey, I'm so and so, and and this is really where I'm from," and somebody would go, "Okay, they would, they would do that, but they won't because <laughs> it's such a it's, nightmare." Yeah, but yeah. You could go in and say, "Hey, that's not my real birth year or whatever." People will go, "Oh, okay, here, I'll fix it." Yeah. So this next one I was really impressed with. I don't think any group got it wrong. I'm not sure. I may be wrong with that. The tallest sunflower was actually, oh, that's wrong. I think that's a misprint. Just let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's not right. We're all on pins and needles. I know. I think I, uh, yeah, 30, yeah, I'm right. So it is 30 feet, one inch, not 20 feet. My memory isn't being lost. Told you guys. I, I, I believe that 
20 is not between 25 and 35. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Good point, Leonard. I didn't even notice that little part. So 30 feet, <laughs> it's 30 feet. So wide. if we did 25 and it's 30 and one inch where we missed it by an inch. And, and I did say rounded to the nearest foot. So you're fine. Missed it by that. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I was like, oh. rounding, rounding good. Yeah. Rounding rounding good. Is good. Was that in good. Alaska or something? I kind of grow things grow it big It was there. in Germany. Apparently. Ooh. They purposely did it, right, Adrian? Uh, they actually, and a lot of people were saying, well, it can't be that tall. Well, if you look at the pictures, there's huge scaffolding around it to hold it up. So, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> purposely done. Oh, I see. Because yeah. I've grown, I mean, they don't, they have like, their roots are like an inch and a half yeah. below Is there the a record soil, for right? the tallest yeah. freestanding sunflower? That would be yeah. an interesting thing. But the one beside it is freestanding, and it looks like it's we can about look at this. 15 I'm to look 20 at feet. So the one beside it is amazing, too. It's huge. Okay, sunflower. And how many short tons, Susan? I hope you got this, that you know how many short tons. And people are going, what's a short ton? Well, if you were at trivia a couple of weeks ago, you would have learned about the three kinds of tons. But the short ton is three. It's a big front yard. And it's and I'm going to have to get another two tons. Wow. <laughs> And the next one, lots of people were guessing, but I know some of you did get it right. It is Matt Fraser, who is the psychic. Uh, we got it wrong. Claims to be. <laughs> there you go. Thank yeah. you. Alleged. He's alleged. alleged. If we just redefine psychic as a person who fraudulently claims to have psychic powers, then we can just call them psychics. There we go. <laughs> well, that is what a psychic is. Exactly. That's true. <laughs> now, the picture I have of my background is a psychic. So for the Carrie Poppy one, yeah, that's him. Most that's, of um, you, I think, got this wrong. She did a TED talk for this. It was excellent. I thought I thought it was very good. It was high carbon monoxide levels. Mm. Huh. Oh, I remember that now. Yes. All right. It was. I listened to that. Yeah, somebody told her she was she was getting more and more paranoid. And somebody said, Are you sure there's not some carbon monoxide poisoning? So she had somebody come in and sure enough, that's what it was. I wonder what, what the was it was. What was it from? Yeah. I think the furnace. Mm -hmm. yeah, if, I, if I remember yeah. correctly, it was the furnace. Furnace. She was vacationing with friends, I think, and I think they were all starting to experience stuff. Mm -hmm. If I remember, I remember correctly. that. Yeah, well, it could be. So for uh. her, Eight. Oh, got to put the answer in there. And I forgot to put the answer in. This is a fun one. I had no idea. I'd never heard of this story before. And neither have I. <laughs> until I rewrote the page. I'm like, what the hell is this? Let's rewrite it. I don't know. The Wikipedia pages you've been doing are so fascinating. So, they are. Once you get into it, you're yeah, like, wow. Like down the rabbit hole. Throw them. Pilots flying Cessna 152s in tight formations, and they were so amused. They did it for a year, and they were extremely amused that they were actually able to not coax the residents, but hoax the residents. Apparently, I had trouble typing today. <laughs> now, if you said planes, small planes in formation, something like that, I would take it. If you said Chinese lanterns, nope, not the same thing. And we yeah, just... I, I lived in Manhattan um, during that time, and I heard of this. When oh, it was really? going on, yeah. Wow. Did you just say Cessnas? Cessnas is good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah. Lights on the bottom and. Yep, Cessnas are good. So as long as you say something about planes, not just plane. <laughs> well, it has to be big. No. Oh, it has to be the football field, right? Huge. Oh yeah, yeah. floating yeah. silently and. I would have loved to have seen that. It must have been such a neat illusion. All the fields, empty places. Right? Yeah. yeah. And they said that it yeah, I never, like I never saw up. it. It was it's further like north. They turned than off I was. the lights, right. and then they'd go up and then they turn the lights on again, I guess. It was just they oh, like, wow. practiced it and timed themselves and stuff. Yeah. I don't know how they did the quietness, except it, it's like the crop circles, circles which was so well planned, right? But, I wish but, they'd come forward and talk about it. Yeah. They don't they don't want their names revealed. So the next one. A lot of you ended up getting this in the end. Hopefully you didn't change it. It is Joe Mercola. So Mercola is enough. Oh, Mercola. Is that what we put? I can't Mercola. remember. Mercola. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mercola. I didn't remember his name very well. Yeah. Mercola. The I don't remember Mermaid. reading the article very well. I think I just said, I'm going to read that later. Oh, really? Because you posted yeah, I it. And I read it because I love uh, Gorski stuff usually. So here's yeah. the article just so you can read it, Susan. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> no, I mean, I, okay, I will read it. So I, the I next one, hopefully everybody got this one and um, the name of person other than Susan Gerbeck, it would be me, Ross Blotcher, William London, who Susan mentioned, Heather Ant Henderson and Nader Hanna. And That's how you're a uh, magician or a comedian or something. Yeah, he's a magician, I think. Yeah. Who are these people? <laughs> Who are they? We'll have to come I, to find out. I guess I've heard of Heather Henderson. Yay! She's got a Wikipedia page. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's famous. Ross doesn't even have his own. He's got the Oh No Ross and Carrie Wikipedia page, but he nope, he's not no. even close. Yeah. I'm just well, maybe if he maybe if he uh, you know, never mind. <laughs> join Scientology. Join Mormons. I know. Hi, Ross. Yeah. I was thinking more in terms of being more of an exhibitionist, but. <laughs> but if he did oh if he did burlesque yeah can that make you news and noteworthy yeah it might work it can okay. right, Mike, it depends on how well you do it about him. <laughs> Get the little nipple things going those yeah so i hope uh, i don't think i want to see that <laughs> it, it just shows two categories about susan how what an interesting life she she leads i'm not doing anything but posting on facebook stuff about, about wikipedia pages we I'm could we could do a category on susan's drapes, I like drapes. oh you mean these? yeah because they're so interesting but i've kept this one for a very they long are. time so all right <laughs> thank you adrian let's look at our score. several people have pictures of it too yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, you Corey. Leave. You're leaving, leaving, or are you gonna thanks, go? Thanks, Corey. Thanks for back. Bye, Corey. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, Corey. Good night. Good night. Good see ya. Okay, so this one we've got Mitch. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Karen will take care of it. Nine. Ooh. Ooh. Some people are watching my page. Good job. <laughs> okay. Extreme jokers. Ten. Whoa! Yeah. Well, you were on that awesome. team. Susan. See my son? Yeah. He's working, right? Oh, I... that was my team. Yeah. That would be yeah. embarrassing. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, we wait. <laughs> we waited a long time, Mitch. We got five. Five. Oh. oh. Somebody needs to pay better attention. Okay, the Scotus can take a flying leap day. Six. We need to be better stalkers. <laughs> and observe this. We got five. Ooh. Some of us don't spend all our time on Facebook. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> some people are in the TSOW project, and they we've been talking about these Wikipedia pages. Hint, hint. We need to spend more time in the cabal. <laughs> that was fun, Adrian. I'm going to go. Bye, 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 Carolyn. Carolyn. Good to see you, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Good. Bye. All right. Good job, everybody. What are we going to do about Bill? Nothing. Just go on to the final round. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Because we're tired. We, we, we could not really come done. up with a category. Give everybody the average score that we have so far. Okay. That's what we'll do. Is we'll, we'll I do told that. you. Oh, that's a good please. idea, Peggy. Okay. Please. So... Last category, we're going to have an early night. I'm shocked. How is it possible to have? A we early can night? use the time to see Robin's pictures. Exactly, yeah. that's, true. That's, true. Yeah. that's a great idea. Okay, because so... it's leap day, we have to do things weird. Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> so should yeah. I move two to? Okay, well, whatever. All right, Ron, <laughs> Luann, right? Absolutely not. Name all the characters in Luann. Absolutely not. I like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, today's uh, final bonus category is sinister presidents. And no, oh. the answer is not Donald Trump 10 times. Ooh, <laughs> sinister. It should be. It should be. What it is, is going to be you're going to name all of the Left-handed presidents of the United States. Oh, awesome! Oh. Minister, I get it. Now I'm going to give you a list of 18 presidents, of whom only nine of them are either known to be left-handed or suspected to be left-handed or ambidextrous. So, unfortunately, because we are playing by the rules of Gerbic, I have to have 10 answers. 
The bonus question in there for the 10th point is, is Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau <laughs> left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous? That's wonderful. And so, the answer to that question is yes. Yes, <laughs> I will accept yes. No, um, and so, can we switch up the rules where you join our team, Susan? Because we only have three people. Well, who's on five? I don't know. I think who's on first? first. Let me look at the scores. Uh, let me look at the scores between five and two. Are you waiting for me to do that? I'm just doing something. Okay, while well, she's doing that. So basically, pick nine of the uh, 18 uh, left-handed presidents, and then the 10th one is, is he left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous? Oh, are you going to give us the list? You have to and, give us yeah, the list. Yeah, I, I was waiting for... Um, My name is Susan. Susan, yeah, whatever your name is. Okay, so uh, you know what? Observe no, your name's this. Anne. Is it your name, Anne? I thought your name Observe was Anne. Observe this. Your name's you Anne. In first place. You have 20. I cannot place? join your team. <laughs> No. no, we That's... have five last round. We can't be in first place. You have Jane. You have Faith and Romero. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. I can't. In, I in know one college, president that's, going left -handed. that's in first place. Unless I'm okay. going to purposely talk you out of it. All right. So, any questions on there? I sent out there's your list of 18 presidents. Choose nine of them and then tell me about Justin. We don't get you in, in team five, Susan? Yeah, I'm going to five. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah because they're, telling us that they're, they're, can't, they're can't in first place. Her. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to team five. It, it wouldn't be fair. Okay, go out and be righteous. Ellen's better brother? Oh, my God. Oh, brother. <laughs> Not big, better. Well, I could change it. Hello, team. Well, I only know two, and if I know them, you all probably know them as well. Well, we know that Donald Trump is not left-handed. Yeah. So there's one we can eliminate. Two who are. So there's 18 here. Oh, there's a list? Yeah. Oh, good. You didn't see that? Here, let me give it to you. No. Well, I only know two. It doesn't matter what's written there. But you actually know two. Yeah. Well, they're... Like, you guys talk about these kinds of things about, like, here it is, Karen. Obama. I, know. I would Obama. guess that Justin Trudeau is left-handed because he leans left. But Obama that's, yeah, and that's, Clinton. That's really, and, yeah. And that's, Obama is, yeah, yeah. And that's, and the, and, and that, Alan, uh, Alan just because the joke you made, that's how it came up, that uh, Obama and Clinton both were left-handed. It was a joke yeah. about, lean, about being left. On the other hand, so was Reagan. Yeah, and that's yeah, uh, and and so is so is Truman. Right. And those are those yeah, are very, a very distant relative of mine, but I know that. Yeah, great. There's four. Okay. Um, so, how would you know? Of, <laughs> I mean, one of the bushes was it bush or shrub? <laughs> <laughs> are they both in? I think here? it's. I think it's bush. There's so only one that's bush George, on there. There's only that's one bush. George on? H. W. Yeah. Okay. There's only one. Good. So it can't be shrub. Yeah, uh, and it's not Donald Trump because he can't write. Yeah, he's <laughs> right, and it's it's right-handed. There would be conspiracies if it was if he was able to if he was the other. Okay, we have Obama, Clinton, Bush, Reagan. We have four. Oh, and Truman. Thomas Jefferson. I have Teddy Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. really, and other than, like you said, that there was a joke about them being left, you know, I can't. Yeah, I just. That, I, I don't just know. Why I just know. finished a whole book on Roosevelt. I don't remember it being mentioned once in there. But would uh, they? Out of all the stuff Teddy or or FDR did, they would mention it. Mm -hmm. Why would you know? There's a there is a little typo because as we've learned in trivia, there is no period after S in Harriet Truman. That's right. right. It doesn't stand for anything. Just S. 
You're right. You are correct. So. Wait, what are these two? Why do we have two lists there? I'm sorry. Do we have it twice? Someone put it in twice. Oh, okay. Well, Susan put it in. Oh, because Karen said and, she and it was it. I put it back And it was head. put in by. Uh, okay, I was just wondering about this. Yeah. You know, normally. Hey, I've read a bunch about George Washington, and I don't think anybody's ever mentioned his being left handed, like being so superstitious about it or anything. So let's put him out. So, so he's we'll out. Trump's out. out. FD, and FDR is out. Okay. I think Ford Trump was. is out. Ford, okay. Well, you know that vaguely out or in? in. Ford is in. Ford yeah. was left handed. Okay. Okay. I think right. Obama, Clinton, Bush. Reagan, Truman, Ford. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six. Well, that's amazing. Uh -huh. huh? And they're all like in the last, what, 50 years. That's um... Hey, Abraham Lincoln, there would have been some kind of suspicion, some kind of something ghostly, something about him if he was, don't you think? Yeah, and yeah. left-handedness in the 19th century, what's considered such a negative that even if you were left-handed, you would work hard to become ambidextrous. Yeah. I think that Thomas that Jefferson point? was ambidextrous and he had an injury to his right hand. So he wrote with his left. Okay, that's seven. I, I could believe that. Yeah, he's he was, he was uh, so talented. Yeah, he, he was, was he was quite a guy. He he almost uh, managed to do the right thing and say slavery was wrong. He got close. Almost. Almost. Okay, so well, with the least actually, logic he, of not if if you were from the old days, you wouldn't want to be left handed. You would have done what you could right. to cover it up. Yeah. Then so it's probably no Madison or Monroe? Somebody who's recent. So no Monroe or Madison. Right. Um, I don't know who else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves Garfield, Grant. We need two more. Uh, it leaves Garfield, Grant, Wilson, and Fillmore. Those are the four. Who's the most so, recent? So let's just take one out of that, and we've got our ten. Omit one. No, we need to take two out. We have seven right now. Yeah, because there's only nine. No, oh, right. tenth is um, got is, it. The no, is show. it Trudeau? Is it Justin Trudeau or Pierre Elliott Trudeau? Justin, Justin. And what's our answer left? Was the funny answer? Is that do we want to say that? Ron's big brother. Well, we're guessing. We're guessing anyway. So left, left-handed. Sure. Okay. What are the most recent of these dudes, of these presidents? Garfield, Grant, Wilson, Fillmore. Wilson. Garfield. Huh? Oh. Is it Wilson the most recent? Well, yeah, Wilson was World War One, so yeah, nineteen what, nineteen sixteen to nineteen twenty. So Wilson? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, um, Wilson, and then who who else is most recent? Boom, wait. Well, Garfield was assassinated what eighteen ninety, like ninety eight. So it would have been Garfield, and then the next one closest to that would be Wilson. Okay, let's put Garfield. Oh wait, I know what would be helpful. Was Garfield assassinated for being left-handed? I was going to ask, but no, he wasn't. No, I was going to say that. So, thank no. you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Well, let's let's assume that he it really was for being left-handed, but no one wants to admit it. So go. that's secret evidence that he was in fact left-handed. Okay, so Obama, Clinton, Bush. <laughs> Uh, Reagan, true. Reagan was, like, was sounds like one of those secret uh, Ann Gerbic things. Right? <laughs> yeah, if I ever Jefferson, Wilson, Garfield. Well, Ann yeah, Gerbic yeah. is is left handed. Yeah, right. I'm barely right handed. <laughs> well, Ann, she wears a mustache. 
She's got a goatee. She's the anti-Cuban. So, so how's my <laughs> team doing? We, we're finished. Um, I think we've made a good... All, all of the uh, people bad. that we have... have to watch all the people we've listed are presidents. Except for, <laughs> except for except Justin for, Trudeau. Except for one of the... Uh, some funny Canuck guy. Canuck yeah. guy. <laughs> we have to humor those people. Okay, because the other teams are a little bit slower, so... Oh, good. So let's, enter oh, let's entertain yourselves. And you have to pardon me. I have to help my wife get upstairs with her... With her Recently sur surgically fixed up foot. So oh, I'll be right. okay, yeah. okay, go ahead. You Mute yourself. Oh, right. I'll, I'll do one more pass just to see how everybody else is. Doing. Have a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna do a heckle so, pass. Susan and Karen, how's the how's the weather down there? Beautiful. It's really? lovely. Didn't get but rain and wind. And allegedly, a storm is coming soon. Yeah, wind. Oh, it 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 was windy and rainy here. No, we haven't had anything. Look, let me look at my phone. I, right, yeah, Karen. There were a couple, I there was, yeah, it was really windy and rainy. Up yeah, here. it's it's not bad right now, um, but there were a couple of yeah. It uh, says it's raining. Pretty significant downpours. Uh, let me see what the uh, is it raining right now, Karen? I don't hear anything. My window can't tell. I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, so there's been a quarter of an inch in Palo Alto in the last six hours. Oh, and then it doesn't is... rain until tomorrow at 3 p.m. again. And we're going to get a third of an inch tomorrow and a half inch on oh, Saturday. Oh, Sunday now it's raining. Gosh, I didn't realize it was going to rain. I did a lot of yard work. So I wouldn't getting have... rain. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, not that I know. Yeah, what do they know? <laughs> well, Karen and I are special because we're we're on the same street ish. Oh, okay. So, if depends on which window Karen's looking out of. Are you looking on my side, Karen, or are you looking? Yeah, yeah. It's my it's raining. It, it's Catalina. raining near you, yeah. Susan. Maybe Catalina. not at you, but near you. Well, maybe it'll be here soon because it says. I saw one of the forecasts said that there were places in the Sierra that over the next three or four days we're going to get eight feet of snow. Yeah. Mark, is it raining? I don't know if you can. No, Mark's. It, oh, it look shows at that. rain right on top of Salinas right now. Nope. Yeah. Mark says it isn't. I'm going to look out the window. Well, know. it's all of the, uh, the brand new. Um, gravel uh retains the that's heat it. that's it and the radiation evaporates the rain <laughs> before it can hit the ground so it's, soaked up all that sunlight and just it's a local heat, rain heat evaporates island just as soon as it yeah, yeah it's it's a local heat island <laughs> increasing the the global warming yeah the doppler shows Karen, that it's it, raining a lot out there i don't hear a thing i well the heat's on i hear and but no no it's raining it's soaked outside you're right lee the Doppler shows that it's right over Salinas now. Yeah. It's it's and, pouring. And, and it's pouring. Yeah. It's raining, pouring, and snoring. Well, you've heard of I only have eyes for you. Apparently, I only have ears for all of you. Aww. So um, is it raining cats and dogs? or No, I didn't look. In I your don't house, just cats. cats. And certainly no dogs. <laughs> They're going to go to Karen's. They'll be dropped off over there. Yeah. No, I'm just after all that sunshine we had, and now I'm looking at it for seven days of rain. I'm like, oh man. No, like I'm Seattle looking forward for to it. I got lots to do, and it keeps me inside from doing the stuff outside. And who's report? Who is reporting our score, please? <laughs> oh, that's right. I had Ellen. something written down, but I don't know who the last two are. I, I wrote them. Some, I, said, I wrote them more. down, but I just don't usually report. Just checking. Did we say Fillmore and who? Garfield. One, Wilson. Two, no, Wilson and Garfield. Wilson, Garfield, and who was the other one? Obama. Okay, it looks, looks like we got everybody back. Mm. Okay. Yeah, if everyone's right. computer is working properly. Yes. And okay, so 
I was originally going to do a fancy PowerPoint, and then I realized now because I own the bonus round, it would probably be three in the morning by the time I got to it. So yeah, that's a simple uh, approach here. First, I'm going to give you a list of all of the presidents who are known or suspected to have been left-handed. And one of the reasons why I thought this would be a good thing is that most of these presidents are recent, which is why, you know, if you've been paying attention, you would see it. So James Garfield was one of them. He obviously, if he was right-handed, he would might have been able to stop the bullet that shot him. But anyways, uh, he was also Ooh. thought to be ambidextrous. Hmm. Um, and notice he's also the only known left-hander prior to the 20th century. Then we got Harry, uh, Harry S. Truman, number five, Bill Clinton, number six. And a little note there, all three major candidates in the 1992 election were all left-handed. Uh, then Gerald Ford, number eight, number 10, Ronald Reagan, number 12, George Bush Sr., and number 16 is Barack Obama. Wow, we we Lee Lee came up with the answer because we started noticing that they were all recent too. Is that what was it you said? Say it again, Lee. Well, I was just saying that in the 19th century, being left-handed was considered a real negative, and so even if they were, they would become ambidextrous and to the public appear to be right-handed. Okay, so that's seven, right? That okay, really, really insightful, Lee. Yeah. So the two that were that demonstrated left-handed ability or ambidextrous ability are Woodrow Wilson. He was right-handed, oh. but after a stroke, he was able to use his left hand to write perfectly legibly with his left hand. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, similar. He had an injury with his right hand, so he switched to his left, and he was said to have been ambidextrous and could write equally well with either hand. So there are your nine guys. And for the big question about Mr. Trudeau, he was right-handed. The last lefty uh, premier, uh, prime minister of Canada was Joe Clark in 1980. Wow. And I think he was prime minister only in 1980, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so there are your 10 and uh, your 10 answers. Are we missing question? I mean, answer one, because it starts with two in the chat. Yeah, number. Those are the numbers of on my list. Yeah, number oh, two, five, the six, eight. Of the P okay, the number you gave. All right, yeah. I, I, we always get yelled at if we don't put the right numbers next to them. No, so. you mean now, I, oh, I do it right, yelling. and I get yelled at anyways. I can't no win. No yelling. <laughs> okay, so awesome. That was scores. interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I didn't know. And I and and I liked how Lee was reasoning that out. It made sense. You know, I noticed something else too. I don't know if it's if you guys noticed this or not either. They're all guys. They're all dudes. All, all and, the left. I mean, considering American no woman president, yeah. Captain obvious. <laughs> the odds of that. Well, all those left-handed people, I'm just saying. <laughs> Something wow. sinister about that. All, yeah, and, something very sinister. And about. all but one of them are white. Well, and he was half white. Yeah, part of the way. Yeah, oh. but he wasn't born in the U.S. anyway, so it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe this world we're living in of misinformation is just, I can't believe it. I mean, there are probably people out there, lots of people who still think that's true. Don't forget you're recording this, Susan. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm saying misinformation. Misinformation. Okay. I'm, I'm being good. I'm good. Because some people will take things out of context. <gasps> That's true. All right. So let's get to the bonus. I mean, not the get to the bonus, but let's get to the Score. share. The, the scoring yeah. of the bonus? Yeah, that thing. All right. So I wonder if I move these over into the correct columns, would it make more you sense? you give everyone a... Uh... Everyone is no, seven. I think I think we'll just keep it like well, that way. The all the other um, games are based on four rounds. Well, oh, you're going to do that. It's what? right here. Leap no, day. no, you were going to put the average. I was thinking about it. Let's see. Do Susan, the what average. What? what are you doing? Susan, what are I'm you moving doing? them over because we didn't have a oh. round. In two. No, 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 no. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> He's cooking the books. Don't do <laughs> give us all a zero. 
put something in column four. Don't don't move everything over. Why? Well, she already did it. Because everything else for years makes sense to Susan. Four and a bonus. <laughs> do the do the average. So you want me to put these back? Yes, please. Yes. Oh Look, my the God. auditor is going to flag this either way. No, I kind of liked it with, oh, anyway. I think there's been some accounting <laughs> irregularities with this round. <sighs> if you apply Benford's law, you'll see. I don't think we have enough data. <laughs> so, now, so now you want me to put the bonus in the bonus? Yes. And then yes. put the average in for the. For four. For just four, four, put balls. the average in. Average of that team? Uh, for the other three. So like these three? Okay, so somebody average. Give everybody all tens for round four. Yeah, oh. there you go. Or all zeros. Yeah, yeah just give everybody all tens. That works. But that's not true. Okay. Then then leave it blank. It was blank. all zeros. Leave it blank. Blank is fine. Leave it blank. It yeah. is zero, leap year zero, day. Zero. Put a zero. Ah, so the leap year day. Oh, symbolic it's of leap year. year. Put oh, can I put? Can I put a? So a it's line? clear it wasn't forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. There you. So go. I have to do something. Otherwise, if I put zeros, people go, "Wow, it's worse than." It's worse than Punch and Judy. Life. Punch and Judy and Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that you guys are all satisfied, your OCD has been taken care of. Everybody's score right? on that round was NA. NA. Okay. So we've waited a long time, Mitch. Five. We should have six, no? Do we have? I, I might I have missed argue something. With you. I Obama, I Clinton, it. Ford. Um, Wilson, yeah, Trudeau, and oh, I think I counted Clinton twice. Okay. Yeah, I got five. Like, five. Well, there, yeah, I'm sorry, another a second Clinton president. There, I'm oh, sure there was. Yes, there was, he was be. there two times, so there should have been. <laughs> should have been, yeah, scrounging for points. What can I say? She had her first female president. Mitch, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Karen will take care of you. Karen will take care of it. Nine. Whoa, nice. Woo. Woo. Go team, go. Okay. There must be some lefties on that team. No, we, we reasoned it out. Extreme jokers. Uh, I think we got seven. That's correct. Okay. Well, oh, done. man, these are tight scores. Okay, the SCOTUS could take a flying leap day. Eight. Whoa. That what she said. Nice. All right. Observe this. We got eight. Oh, oh, oh. missed it by oh, that much. Jeez. Oh, close. I, so the team that that didn't never had some had me on it. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> we planned this. I know it. How I could that be, it. Susan? That's scary. God, now I'm gonna cry. I hope Bill's we, okay. We uh, still love you, Susan. Yeah, whatever. we got another four more years till we do this. So, yeah. <laughs> no, because we won't be doing it on leap year day. What is it, 2051 or something? 52. Yeah. Unless it's a special occasion. Well, yeah, we could have it on leap year day. We but could just we do a special right occasion. All right. So, thank you guys for those who are going to leave us at this point. Um, Robin wanted to show the last of her little thing. And then we wanted, I think we were going to talk about that thing that I can't talk about on, on thing. And <laughs> also, I think we were going to talk about the German skeptics if you guys want to talk about German skeptics. Ooh. Oh, I wanted to do the rest of the dad jokes I learned today. Oh, well, tell them, tell us now while we're recording. So <laughs> you get sleepy. Oh, sure. So, um, so Peggy. Do you know what you do when uh, you lock yourself out? No. What do you do when you lock yourself out, so Vincent? Actually, have to talk to the lock because communication is key. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I don't have a key in my lock. I have a cipher lock. Oh, cool. That's Ooh. even better. Can you talk to <laughs> it? You really talk to it. <laughs> she she probably does. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, 
there was this uh, husband and wife and the husband uh, comes home and the wife is uh, watching something on TV and she's like, um, oh, good night, Brandy. Bye. Night, everybody. Bye. Night, Brandy. So, and she, she, she says, no, don't go in there. No, turn around. You're like, and she's getting really like scared. And uh, the husband uh, says to the wife, are you watching like a, a, a horror movie? And she says, yes. Oh, what is it? Our, uh, our wedding video. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, um, I wanted to uh, open up a, a uh, business in New York, and uh, oh, punchline! <laughs> I'm already laughing because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, no. Is the punchline? I. Uh... It's all right. You can skip. Oh, this I wanted to open. I wanted to <laughs> open. Begging you yeah, to it's uh, and it was a sperm it. bank, a sperm bank, and uh, I wanted to name it. Hi, Kyle. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Deborah's gonna cry. Good, Deborah. Cry, hey, Deborah. Kyle. Are we gonna look at pictures of penguins now? <laughs> yes. okay. we can. We can. Let me, uh... So, do you know what makes oh. hummingbirds different than other birds? What? What? They, they don't know the them. lyrics. Uh. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, Robin, did you know something that I learned the other day? What's that? So you're showing a picture about birds. Well, the bird is the word. <laughs> I just see him doing stand up somewhere. <laughs> just bad dad jokes. And you're not a okay. dad. So I'm pushing play. Me. I'm pushing okay, play. Hit play. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin, I can't believe Kevin. Which got, company that was, the, go that was the warm up act. Ocean wide <laughs> expeditions. Oh, that's uh, cool. highly, rec amazing. highly recommend them. That's a South what, Georgia pintail. What was crazy is Aww. you were sharing penguin pictures. I had two other friends that were on a National Geographic expedition. And then another one of my friends went by himself and was starting like to post pictures. And I think he went on a Norwegian ship. Those icebergs so was, like, look like maybe swans. Maybe you saw each other. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. And uh, and then Milos Radakovic is out there too. I think he's still out there on Celebrity. Uh, Who? Milos Radakovich, he he's he's he spoke at uh oh, 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 skip yeah 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 years yeah. ago skip to camp Monterey County yeah, yeah. Skip to camp. I think it was the first time we were in Seaside you know the yeah, exactly. community yeah. center yeah. yeah there's the South Georgia Pippet right there oh oh hello <laughs> it looks like he's sitting on worms look what's on their nose is that cocaine okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, uh, okay, the sea lion. So the, the oh, icebergs man. icebergs once in a while flip. And oh. so yeah. the iceberg like tree rings, it ha it you can't read it like a tree ring, but it it does have a history to it of flipping and parts of it being underwater. Before being... breakfast? Oh my god. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god! Were you warm enough? I know you spent a lot of yeah. I was never oh, cold. I was never cold. Um, it was usually around thirty-two degrees or thirty-five degrees, or um, it's it's summer there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of this course. is where we had we had ninety-six knots of wind at one point. Mm -hmm. So that would be Ooh. zero in Celsius. That's a little breezy. Yeah. Yes, force twelve. You could see some. Ooh. We had these, I call it catabatic winds wow. or something. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, very cool? interesting geology. I can't tell you wow. about geology, but there's a lot of really cool geology down there. My sister would have had a field day on this. She would have had so much fun. There's literally a field day. Macaroni penguins. 
Did you guys try oh, to pull wow. gold at the end of the rainbow? Yeah, she was looking. We had, that's why she had to go so far we south. We got some close rainbows. Oh, that's cool. So they've shown that the penguins that nest higher up do better. And so there's a evolutionary pressure wow, to nest higher look at up. that image. And some of them are, are amazing rock climbers. How come you're not in any of these photos? I'm in one later. <laughs> Fine. Oh, look at that. The tattoo, is, does the tattoo make a, a, a appearance? The tattoo makes an appearance. This is Sven. He's like the first officer. This is our bird guy. This is uh, our captain got his nails painted for karaoke night. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, I, I may fast forward or I could turn this sound back on. For... <laughs> we had we had karaoke night one night. Look at all the white people. Oh, who's, who's taking care of the <laughs> ship yeah. while the captain's doing karaoke? Well, he's not on the bridge all the time. He has to sleep sometimes. They have yeah. watches. Oh, we okay. had a, a, a lot of um a lot of our watch officers were Ukrainian. Sven was Swedish. Per, the captain was Swedish, and then really, oh, wow. so I thought oh, the Ukrainians cool. were supposed to go back there. Uh, the Ukrainians they were renewing their visas so they could stay on the ship and not have to go back to Ukraine. Mm. What a war! Yeah. These are chin straps, and that, that this one is a leucistic one. Oh, right is here. that what they're called? I did see it. But look at that image. Oh my gosh! Damn. So I these oh, these are man. Uh, seals. So we went by the the world's largest ice, iceberg called A twenty three, and it took about four hours to go by it. Of that was a nice uh, picture of that guy doing a selfie. Well done. We, we called that guy Mister Mongolia. That's a southern full mark. Uh, Mr. Mongolia was very enthusiastic when, whenever he went ashore, he was marching, marching, marching. <laughs> now, Deception Island was an incredible place. It's a caldera. It's a active volcano. We sailed into the caldera and we hiked around the rim. Wow. It's not erupting while you were there, right? Thank goodness, no. Nah. But it has it has erupted recently. In were you exhausted? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like that's that. a Weddell Weddell seal. That would be, that's that oh, would be Robin right there. That right? was Robin's oh, picture <laughs> after the hike. <laughs> Laying our back went. Uh... Oh, I should turn it down. Okay, that's a rock copper penguin haircut. <laughs> uh, this is seal still happy. I think it's a Weddell seal. That's a fur seal. There are lots of old um, wrecks. In fact, then, and that's an Antarctic turn. The next thing they were, that's a humpback. Next uh, cruise they were going to do was a diving cruise. They were going to do dry suit diving on some of those old shipwrecks. Wow. Why aren't they cleaning them out? Are they keeping them because they're humpback. being used for, I mean, you know, the sea, sea life is. Um, they, is they do make artificial reefs and, yeah. you know, wildlife likes them. I guess it's not harming too much. So every time I'm gonna just go back right here. Oh, I'm gonna try to stop at a chain. Look at the smiles on their faces. So cute. So every time we went ashore, you see right here, there's a uh, one zodiac, at least one zodiac with enough survival gear that if the weather comes up. And we have to spend the night on shore and we can't get back to the ship. We've got like pop-up tents and oh. food and water and stuff right here. Wow. Uh, and it's, it is that dicey a lot of the time. Gosh, yeah. I didn't think so. This was our first landing on the continent, I think, Antarctic continent. Oh, you haven't even been wall. to the Antarctic yet in these pictures? Everything we've seen no. hasn't been? Uh, it is now. Oh. Wow. Look at those. Gosh, oh, God. I can those imagine are... how these camera lenses must be massive. You wouldn't be able to carry them, Susan. No, there's no way. Is that a <laughs> thing? It's like the probably 200 to 600 millimeter ones. Yeah. So these are oh. chin strap penguins. They have these penguin highways that they they sort of have these little roads that all the penguins are going on the road. 
and the the you know how in Yosemite you you pick up your camera and every time you turn around you want to take another picture. I think you it said was like that. This. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The the scenery was like picture after picture after picture. Anyway, the orcas down there are brown and beige, <clears throat> not black and white. Is there anyone oh, down there who didn't take a camera? Me. <laughs> well, I had to set an iPhone. Oh. And you got some amazing photos too. Yeah, I did. I got some good pictures. So this is Peterman Island. And there's me right there. Hey, you are holding your camera, playing Candy Crush. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> You're sending pictures to us on Facebook. You had a reception really good somewhere because you were sending them regularly. Yeah, I, I had to pay money for satellite internet on the ship. Those are a deli oh, thing. That's this cute. So they did have satellite uplink. They had satellite internet. Look at that image. Wow. Somebody lives there. Yeah, Great. there's there's some that was uh that was the one time I didn't go ashore. I just was too tired. Uh there was like a oh, whaler's cabin beautiful. that they went to. Whaler's cap cabin. God, that is cool looking. Whaling anymore. Messy. And this is <laughs> this is a Argent Argentinian <laughs> naval base. <laughs> if you fell into the water there, how long would people survive? Not very long. When we stopped at um, Port Stanley, there were five Chinese squid boats that were coming into the harbor. Um, they looked like slave labor factory ships. There were no windows. Ooh. And I heard that a guy tried to jump off to escape and died. <gasps> he may not have known where he was in the world, and he may not have known, had any idea what the water temperature would be down below, but it's around 32 degrees. <laughs> These are Antarctic shag. He didn't try to do that. Yeah, baby. There, did he? Just you're saying, <clears throat> talking about it. I just, I heard that somebody tried to jump off. Oh, and people are only living in these areas right now while it's warm, right? Those are Cape Petrel. You couldn't um, live there's the a, some people over winter. Um, obviously, in the Falklands, um, <laughs> the 2,500 people who live in the Falklands, they live there all year round. And they have uh, weekly flights to the UK. And they have a weekly flight to Chile. Um, but South Georgia, I'm not sure if they overwinter. And of course, in Antarctica, there's there's a few. The McMurdo Station, they have overwintering Yeah, people. the research stations. Yeah. But most of the tourism is summer only. Cape Petrel. Wow. And the blue ice is um, more squished. So it's like from the bottom of the glacier. So when the glaciers are calving, from the bottom, it's blue, and from the top, oh, wow. it's more white. Leopard seal. Beautiful. Look at, they always look like they're smiling. Oh, that's the South Georgia. It's also called the South Sandwich Islands. I'm looking on the map now. Look at them go. <laughs> I think it's South Georgia and the South Sandwich. Oh, look at the background. The background looks fake. Did you have <laughs> anybody on your ship like scuba diving down there? No. Well, they stuck a GoPro in, and you're going to see right now, you're going to see some leopard seal underwater footage, which is pretty cool. Uh, Chloe stuck a GoPro underwater. Oh, oh, look at that. oh, wow. Look at that. Those guys are fierce. Wow, wow the GoPro could handle that kind of temperature. Look at that. Requirements to go down there to scuba dive. Um, it's highly technical diving, and yeah, they're this. Yeah. Um, like I think you have not to, just like, anybody can go. Forty dives that you've done underneath. Oh, ah, oh done my would be wow. Forty degrees. Yeah, I don't know enough about diving to answer any <laughs> diving questions. That was a glacier, but they um, do on this um, one... under ice diving in lakes in the winter time here all the time. Yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> And that there'd be no amazing. way I'd be able to select my favorite picture to put up on a wall or something. I know, right? They're all so, just oh, amazing. Yeah, I'm just like gonna... a mohawk. So, so 
I, my dog is bothering me and I was trying. So they, what, what happens is they lie down on the iceberg and they're warm. So they, they get like wet on one side, they melt the ice and then they, then they look like they're sort of half and half seals that they always oh, look like that. Ooh, that looks creepy. Looks like cats. So, and then near the end of the trip, we had this outdoor party. <laughs> They, uh, we ate, ate, and it was, this is the rain. So this is the problem with global warming in Antarctica. Antarctica is supposed to be a desert and baby penguins do not tolerate rain very well. And it was raining that night. No. So that's a problem. That's a big problem. Rain. Oh, that's pretty ice. Oh. You're right about oh, them being oh. out there rolling in it. Look at that. Wow. It's just everywhere you looked, it was another extraordinary vista. Everybody looks like they're getting along. Everybody got along. Oh, there's oh, me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there's her. my tattoo, and there's Andres, my tattoo guy. What is it? It's how many has it, did you ask him how many people he's tattooed down there? Um, no, but he tattooed my tattoo was similar to um one that Charlotte had, one of the other, um, one of the expedition leaders and about five or six other people got tattooed. A couple it of people. Is like it complete, compass rose, right? Is it completely done or is it, do you need to do more to it? It's done. Oh, yeah. it's the South Pole with North, 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 North on the compass. Exactly. It's Antarctica, North, 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 North. She got a tattoo of Antarctica while in Antarctica. Like, yes. That is, that cool. is, she's got the cool. Like you do. So cool. <laughs> I've told people I know somebody that got a tattoo of Antarctica while in Antarctica, and they're like, "I'm going to be wow. telling people too." That's How the heck do you do that? So this is a skua. These are sort of like the predators. They um, during the spring, if you go early, we were very late in the season, so the the baby penguins were big babies and so on. But these guys predate uh, penguin eggs and baby penguins, and it's a kind of a bloodbath for a while. Oh, oh it's a baby. Baby, baby skua. Aw. Doesn't skua. look like a vicious killer, does he? Look at that. <laughs> Not oh, yet. Man. Look at these. That's a great one. Hi, Jenny. And then we did the polar plunge. I did. Oh, oh, oh my God, God really? Oh, no, yeah, no, I no. I had no intention of doing it. But oh come on, Robin! Did. You should have done that. No way. That one guy goes back in too. And you got used to it, you know. No, no you, you don't. Just you before don't. Before you you do not get mm. used to that. No they no. said if you don't put your whole head in, it doesn't count. Oh. <laughs> so this oh. is my roommate <laughs> Janet right here. That's Janet. No way would I want wet hair. <laughs> oh, she oh, went all the way in. Wow. My my roommate Janet did it. Yep, she uh, did it. Good for her. There's another couple that did it. I'd, I'd do love it. to have wet hair. I wouldn't get naked like that in front of people. No. Oh, why not? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'd be more naked? about letting people uh, being walk around like that. In my why, why would but, you take but, a bathing suit on this trip in the first I place? Know. <laughs> I know. To do yeah. that. To do that. <laughs> Out in the Zodiac is the ship's doctor with a defibrillator. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Look at them. They went out into it and they and they turned oh, blue. Those did are you see that? Who did it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, no, you got a tattoo. That's oh, a much more reasonable thing. That they were and that's Andres, that. the tattoo guy. He was an amazing artist. Very this artist. is a wandering albatross. Wow. Albatross are so pretty. Crowd. You know, everybody's it's not too many. Mm. You just gotta take them off of your neck. How do you say that? <laughs> or or tell us? Or tellius. Or tellius. What's that mean? Uh I don't know. It's Dutch. It's ship Dutch that goes ship. south. So those were all of our our expedition leaders. This is Sarah. She's like the the cruise director of the love boat. This is <laughs> Eva, the ship's doctor. This is Charlotte, who had a tattoo like mine. Uh, Chloe took a lot of these pictures. She's French. Um, this is our this is Jens. Hey, yeah, <laughs> this is Jens is a, a retired air traffic controller and glider pilot and this is the bird guy simon anyway they were all really wonderful lovely people 
And I think that's about it. That's really great. Nice. That was awesome. I don't know what Artelius means, but there was a guy named Abraham Artelius that was a cartographer. That's it. That's it. Ah. And I think all the Dutch ships are named after cartographers. Oh, now that makes sense. That yeah. was amazing, Robin. I'm so glad you were. Very were cool. Us. That was so Thank good. You for sharing with us. Able to look Thank you for pictures. showing us uh, amazing. How many, how many total different kinds of penguins did you see, do you think? Seven species of penguins, five species of albatross. Those pen straps, oh. I've never heard how of How are you going to narrow it down to 10 questions next week? I don't know. <laughs> 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 wow. So cool. I All think right. I saw Literally four cool. kinds of penguins in New Zealand. Yeah, there's a couple of kinds you can see in New Zealand. But we saw the blue penguins, the uh -huh. blue penguin. Yeah. And when we went out on Milford Sound, we saw a board one. And then there was another one that I saw when we went out to look for kiwi. Did you see any Puteki techies? <laughs> I'm not sure. I prefer the Turkish Meredith over the Danny DeVito. Akias. They're pretty funny. There's another parrot that I watched for a long time. In the anyway, forest. one of the things I learned while I was there that is Antarctic tourism has really been increasing. And um, and then we had there's an avian flu problem going on right now. Oh, oh no. the avian flu problem is not necessarily related to tourism, but it is related to humanity in the sense that avian flu arose from chicken farming mm -hmm. and it has spread to wild <laughs> birds. And so it's I just learned today that so that the wandering albatrosses have been affected and there's apparently 50 dead adult wandering albatrosses. Wandering albatrosses live, should live a really, really long time and produce, you know, one egg maybe every other year or something like that. So they can be very highly disturbed. Their colonies can be very highly disturbed. I just went to so, a uh, talk about an Antarctic expedition, just like what you went on. Uh -huh. A different company just to happen to be timing, but same idea, exactly the same idea. And they were telling us that they're going to be restricting the number of people in the future. They're really looking at that seriously, and it's going to come sooner rather and than later. That's another reason why I went now, right. because um, the landings may be more restricted right, yeah. and so on. So yeah. um, so it, I wouldn't have been able to see the South Georgia Pippet, the South Georgia Pintail, those two endemics without landing. I, I don't think <clears throat> you really could have seen them from a Zodiac cruise. It would have been a really difficult. So glad I got to go. Yeah, it's a great when trip. When I got to go, it was an um, amazing trip. And Did uh, you look over the edge, the other side of the wall? <laughs> oh, good point, I'm, I'm not telling anybody what I saw. Oh yeah, you can't talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> can't talk about that, no. <laughs> or did they give you climbing equipment to be able to go up the wall? <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> is there is there wind down there like especially near the wall but yeah no no near the wall it's very did you see the night light. king behind the wall <laughs> <laughs> well we didn't fall off um, all I okay now you. robin where's the next place amazing you're going to go because how do you once you've done this wow i, I mean what are you gonna, how are you gonna follow it well my my niece has gotten engaged and her um, wedding is supposed to be in May of next year, not three months from now, but May of next year in Madrid. Ooh, oh. so why? So why not get married here? Because she lives in Madrid. Oh, okay. Well, then that makes sense. But why wait a year? Susan. Um, I don't get married here stuff. after just getting just, engaged. Just go married. get married. I'm not her wedding planner. I <laughs> have a vacation or something. Buy a house with the money you don't have. You're not spending hey. It's, I think having a wow. wedding would be cheaper than buying a house right now. Well, it depends on use where. it as a down payment or something. I don't, I just don't understand. <laughs> what I do not get it. Those are graduation ceremonies. I don't. I. I don't. Yeah. If you no a down payment for a wedding with what? No, no, a down payment for a house. <laughs> right. But, but you paid on a wedding. 
you could yeah. you could probably pay for like three or four weddings of what some people are paying for down payments for homes. Mm -hmm. It, no, you can pay for three yeah. or four houses with what people are paying for weddings. Yeah. <laughs> it can be both ways. It depends on where you live. It yeah, depends. It like if you were trying to buy a house here and needing to put 20% down, you're you're wow. looking at about eighty thousand dollars. To buy yeah, I think weddings cost eighty thousand. Eighty thousand dollars if you want to put twenty percent down to buy a home in our neighborhood. Mm hmm mm hmm That's ten percent here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but, but you your your people are the ones who've caused it like my house is oh i heard this 100%. my entire life everywhere i've traveled, no, i'm, I'm talking about from the california moving out. no it's people from california from new york from everywhere moving here and it's it's just we're trying to change we, your voter block you should stop you should stop telling everybody how nice it is yeah oh, that's no, what we did no, we told everybody so. we're full go away there's like nowhere for you to go we want to change you from red to blue. And we're purple. We've been purple for a while. We have always had. That's a good. And we need to become blue. We always right have. Right we always right have up. Democratic governors over here. If you'd start getting it right, then we wouldn't stop coming over there. That's just the way it is. It's the only reason anybody moves there. <laughs> have you, you have you looked at the northern part of your state? Yeah. Yeah. The, the part that has no people in it. Yes. It's Nobody beautiful. Cares. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful the one place. That we're getting upset, upset about the uh, what Maybe. was it, the water being dammed. The, the people and... that the part that has no people right, in it, so it doesn't matter. The people that yes. are growing orange trees in the desert and upset that's that there's not the northern no part of the state. That's, that's, that's way south. Yeah. It's, it's yep. Come on now. Spoken like somebody from North Carolina. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. stop the recording now. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, I gotta go.